Oh, that suck. Looks good, mate. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Um, shoot to a group. Fucking. But yeah, the starting soon one. I just, I didn't even mean to do that. That was an accident. <laughs> Post. Here we go, boys. Um, I'll just start staring at everywhere else to share the shot of it. Post. Post. You go New Zealand. Post. Yu-Gi-Oh! 1% post. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Fakes post. <laughs> so all these cunts have just have like thousands of people on them. So it's live now, is it? Yeah, oh, I'm starting soon. Okay, I've shared it to those groups. Um, Is that it on the... Is it running? Boosh. Solid bro, thank you. The man. Alright, now, how do I... Fuck, it's already been shared seven times. Yep. Um, the fan? Can we? That one there. Was the heat pump? If I can't hear it when you're talking, you should be all good. Okay, okay. Right, Try and invite like the hundred people off my yeah. list. Mm -hmm. Oh, but stay. Can you get cockroach on me? Huh? Yes? What? I might get cockroach on me. <laughs> it's not going yet, luckily. <laughs> Oh. 
just curious. Oh, uh, uh, there's already people here. It's already dropping fucking messages. Chat, it's up, it's up, it's up. Um, five minutes, five minutes. I'm gonna do this for too many. Um, send one more to Jacob. And. Yep. Going. <coughs> Where did I put my bloody coffee at? Yo, William, sup man? Farmer John Smith rocked up. Bro, Nicholas Jordan, William Stafford. Yeah, I've caught you up, bro. <laughs> oh, my name's in there too. Oh, cool. Oh, Haley Jess Graham, sup? Jason Flintoff, Cherubite. <coughs> Tweaking a couple more things and then we'll be starting her up. up Nook? How's it going bro? What? My 
my daughter telling me to be quiet, guys. Lol. Can, can, can my mommy tell me to be quiet? Dad, All right, I think. Back, but when people comment again. Sweet. Yeah, that's us, bite. I'll get her going. Three, two, one, live. We are up and running. Sup, everybody. All right, so as the title says, as you can see, we are opening up four of these bad boys today. Power of the Elements. Um, new release, not actually officially out till next Wednesday, but because I attended an event, I managed to get my hands on some a couple of days. Sort of early, not actually early, as I found out. <laughs> um, shop for tuning in, everyone. I'm fucking really appreciative of all the bloody support you're giving me. Like, it's bloody epic. Um, I mentioned lots of stuff about giveaways. Giveaways, giveaways. So what I'm going to be doing is all these streams that I'm going to do, I'm going to sell out. I'm so sorry, guys. I have to sell out. <laughs> the money's too good, apparently. I'm going to edit them, put them onto my new YouTube channel, and then from there, all of the people that have subscribed to the YouTube channel, I'll be able to check them out on a list, I think. That's how it works. And I'll just pick some random people to give some stuff away to. Like, there'll be card cases, there'll be cards whatever, it'll all be Yu-Gi-Oh related stuff, so I mean like if you're not into Yu-Gi-Oh the prizes might not interest you, but it could still earn you a couple of dollars, you never know um, hey, sup Dougie, another one of the Rotorua crew, it's good to see you here bro, shot for tuning in um, fucking let's get this shit started, yeah I'm gonna go get me a knife skis to open up these boxes with, I'll be back in a sec <sighs> Hey, uh, hey, uh. you guys, you guys reckon uh, this is a sufficient knife? I could, I, I could use this. Or is that, is, that, is that a bit over the top? I mean, like. Oh, bro, it opened it. Gee, look at that. Fucking opened it. Huh. That wasn't meant to be like, you know, it wasn't meant to work. It was just meant to be a gag, but hey, it worked. Cool. Um. Okay, let's get this first box going. So what I'm thinking of doing is we'll get all these fucking boxes open, get the cases out, stacked all nice and neatly, and then we'll get them open one at a time. Talk some shit along the way. Hopefully spend a couple more hours just, you know, having some fun, because it'll just be fun. Nah, bro, that, that, that is definitely my knife. Like, that's what I used to eat my dinner with. I make my toast with it. Um, Chur, bro, Chur, Idris, this is Idris. You're the guy. He's the guy. The guy that runs our Rotorua Hobby League. Fucking shout out to him. Freaking always does a good job. Blooming epic weekends too. We got a thing on tomorrow for um, some cards coming out of here. So this is a good time for all of us to have a jack nuh here to what we might be running into tomorrow for us at the Rotorua crew. Um, Okay, <clears throat> so we'll start getting these packs out, ah, man, it was a long bloody day, came back from Hamilton today, did a Power of the Elements event there, completely bricked out, sucked so bad, I mean, I won one game in each of my matches, but I didn't win any matches, so, you know, so I got a cool field center card of this dude right here, fucking, I'm not even sure what the hell his name is, I haven't done any research on these packs, I'm lazy like that, but it makes it a little more fun when it comes to opening them as an extra element of surprise and I've done it. If my math's correct, I think we have 96 packs to go through, so it's quite the piles, quite the piles. Um, might actually borrow one of those Audi S3 boxes from the last stream. So I'll stack these boosters into. That works quite well, done it. I was gonna move that back, put that over there, put that over there. Get these open. Now, we are all praying for a Starlight Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. I mean, 
everyone wants the Starlight Phoenix Enforcer, but I really want the Starlight Phoenix Enforcer, guys. Like, but I, I really want it. <laughs> okay, last box here. Put a stack over there and pull these ones up the back over here. I'm gonna do the pack truck on most of them. We'll be bloody um. You know, take the back four cards, swoop them to the front, so the last card we see is the rare card of the pack. Um, fucking got some sleeves ready to go. Stick some bloody cards in there. Dark Magician Girl this time. Got some Karibo ones that I should probably use through first, but... Alright. Uh, what I'm going to actually do is get these out of your guys' way, so we've got more of a viewing space for um, just to see what's going on with these cards that I pull. Yeah. Okay, that's better, that's better. Let's get these cases open so I'm not fucking reaching around freaking out when I pull that Starlight DPE. Because I'm getting that Starlight DPE. God speed Spider-Man. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there bro. Sorry bro, I'll get there, I'll get there. Don't know if you heard it, but that is my beautiful five-year-old daughter in the background. Practicing her God's given singing voice. It's probably just because I'm her dad, but I reckon she can sing pretty good for a five year old. <laughs> when she thinks we're not paying attention. Anyway, enough about my kid. Back to the cards. Drink some coffee. Let's get that Godspeed going. Alright. Pack number one. Gonna do the one, two, three, four to the front. Alright, we have uh, Ascan, the Bicorn Gotti. So I'm gonna separate these cards out into fucking um, into uh, things. So I'll have a side deck pile, magic traps, and then the monsters, and then I'll keep the ultras and whatnot separate as well. So we can go through those at the end and see what cool things we pulled. Um, Morphotronic Scannon, Terrors of the Overroot, Morphotronic Converter. Sprite Smashes, Tialament's Metanoise, Ravenous Vendred, Spite Gamma Burst, and the first Ultra Rare is Garura Rings, Wings of Resonant Life. Um, there you go, you guys can see the card there. I know my camera is shitty quality, but if anyone wants to donate like some money for me to get a new camera, fuck, I'll, 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 be, I'll be so stoked, I'll love you forever. You'll be, you, you, you'll, you'll be the coolest person on this channel. Which is a very small channel, but... <laughs> okay. So, first Ultra. I don't know if this is worth anything. I mean, if anyone wants to shout out some values that they're aware of, go hard, but... Yeah, not sure. Ultra is goes in the cases up the back over here. Pack number two. Mm. So, uh... So, chat, what's everyone been up to over the past... How many days have been? Like, 10, 11 days since I've done my last chat? What what, what are you guys all up to? Do the card trick, one, two, three, four, to the front. You nominate Idris for first donations. Oh, I want some donations, some donations. <laughs> uh, we got Gotti Chain. Oh, I could probably figure something out, you know? Uh, like buying off bloody packs, shit. Um, Life Extreme, Enoch Sentry of the Gotti. Morphotronic Telephone, Ice Jade Creation, a Jero Cassis. Now I know people are gonna fucking want these for their um, Mirror Jade decks. If you're running Mirror Jade, you want this, bro. Like this thing is OP. It's just, it's almost unfair. Uh, Mary Malfi's. So we got Malfi's up in these packs too. Um, Malfi Wally, Overfusion. What does that do? Target one face up monster on the field. Reveal one E hero. All E heroes. Mm. Reveal one elemental hero, ne Neospatian, or level 10 monster from your hand. Oh my god, my English is breaking. What the fuck? From your hand, deck, or extra deck. And the targeted monster's name can be treated as revealed monsters if used as fusion material this turn. Send the revealed monster to the graveyard if you have elemental hero Neos on your field or in your graveyard. Otherwise, shuffle it back into its deck. If revealed from the hand, shuffle into the main deck. You can only activate one over fusion per turn. Well, that's pretty cool. And then the ultra for this one is Sprite Jet. You guys haven't seen that card yet. There she is, nice and shiny. Bit hollow over there. You good, baby? Hi. Um, put that in the case because it's an ultra. 
You're gonna end up with 96 of these fucking sprite cards up in cases. Oh my god. Alright, number three. Number three. Dougie has a truck for donation from memory. Oh, bro. I'm pretty sure the hobby would love to go off roading, Dougie. It'll be pretty sick. Dougie. No. <laughs> Man, I still haven't got to duel you yet, bro. Like, oh, I know I'm going to get, like, swept up, but still, I still haven't gotten to duel you, Dougie. <laughs> um, okay, this pack. We got my Mises Elephant. Pit Knight Early, whatever that is. Gunkin Ship Shari Red. This is the new Gunkin Ship card that comes out with these packs. Like, if anyone's running Gunkin Ships, you get a new support via the one card, as far as I'm aware. There might be a couple, I don't know. Um, you got... Car Torin, the hidden gem of the seafront. There's that one there. You guys can see that. Um, Brandon Central Dogmatica. More branded support. Like branded needs any more fucking support. God damn it. Um, branded Expulsion. More branded support. Nah, here's some Tialaments. Tialaments, Mary. Oh, Merly. Uh, more Malfies and Gem Knight Quartz. I think this is a new Gem Knight card. Um, someone. Someone figure that out for me, if you don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, new Gem Knight cards. So Gem Knights have got some new um, support coming out. There's a, also a new Crystal, from what I hear, a new Crystal Beast structure deck coming out at the end of the year. Um, that's going to be interesting. Somewhere in October or November, I think it is. And yeah, I'm interested to see how those are going to keep up with the current meta. Because... You know, they're pretty old school. Pretty old school. Okay, next pack, next pack. Um, T elements Havness. So more T elements guys. Sprite Carrot. Uh, Venus Sliff of the Thawing Mountains. Venus Sliff of the Flowering Fields. Ah, oh, I didn't do the card trick, so we're already at the Ultra. We have Scatter Fusion. During the main phase, if your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon one non-rock gem knight monster from your extra deck using monsters from your deck as material. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except gem knight monsters. You can only use this effect of scatter fusion once per turn. When this card leaves the field, destroy all monsters summoned by this card's effect. Not bad. Um, Scarve Avenger, Nightmel the Dark Bonder, Moki Moki Adrift. Huh, there's Moki Mokis in this pack too. They're bringing back those Blimmin' GX uh, play, playlists, say, eh? like, whoa. Um, Morphtronic Converter is the last card of that pack. Slam the Scatter Fusion into a case and we will keep on going. Alright. In due time, young grasshopper. Alright, alright, alright. So tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four on top. Okay, so we got Hydrolander Orbit, Double Dust Tornado Twins, another Bicorn Gotti, sounds like a frickin' mumble rapper bro, Terrors of the Overroot, Brilliant Rose, uh, Vernus Sliff and the Flower Buds, Tialament Sulu Saliek, holy heck, I'm just gonna call that Tialament something heck, uh, Venus Glyph and the Changing Season, and then we have Emperor Tanuki's credit count. That's the ultra rare for the pack, guys. Um, I'll give it a read in a second. Get some picture of it. There you go. Cannot be tributed while face up in the monster zone. While this card is in the monster zone, when you ritual summon, you can also send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard as one of the monsters used for the ritual summon. You can only use this effect of Emperor Tanuki's credit count once per turn. All right. Cool. Next pack. Oh no, you're not going in there, G. You're going in a fucking case. Oh, I'll do a few and then I'll stand them in a case. Stand them in cases. Yeah. Alright, next four. Next four. One, two, three, four. Okay, okay. We have Terrors of the Overroot. Uh, Ricker Princess. Propagandake. Ha! <laughs> Play on words. I hate puns, eh? But, like, for real. Propagandake. What does this do? Once per turn, if you control a monster whose original type is beast, insect, plant, or rock, you can declare one of those types you control. This card becomes that declared type. 
If this card has applied this effect, also apply the following effects while it remains in the monster zone. All face-up monsters on the field become the same type as this card. Monsters on the field with this card's type cannot be targeted by either player using the effects of monsters your opponent controls with that same type. Bruh! Fucking field lockdown much. Uh, Shari Red. Uh, Sprite Gamma Burst. Venusliff of the Thawing Mountains. Brandon and Central Dogmatica. Fucking more branded support. Gee. Uh, I'm just going to go buy two, two or three fucking branded boost uh, structure decks. Make them crazy one. Put the support in and I'll give the rest of the cards away to anyone who wants them. <laughs> uh, Vernusliff and the Changing Season. And the... Uh, Ultra for this one, is it Ultra? Yeah, I think it's Ultra Rare. Is EN Wave, guys. EN Wave. Um, if your elemental hero monster is used as a material for a fusion summon and sent to the graveyard or banished, except during the damage step, you can special summon one Neo Spatian monster or one elemental hero Neos from your deck. If a Neo Spatian monster or elemental hero Neos you control or in your graveyard is shuffled into your deck or extra deck, except during the damage step, you can special summon one elemental hero monster from your graveyard. You can only use each effect of E and Wave once per turn. Oh, super rare. Shot address, thank you. Okay, super rare, super rare. This is the one with the plane writing, holographic super rare. Yeah. The ADHD does not do me well with remembering all the kinds of rarities. All I know is the Starlight DPE, and I know I want it. <laughs> um, so this is some really good hero support too. I mean, I know I've been bitching about all the fucking branded support, but heroes have got some really good support in here, and it's going to really pump them up to the meta. Not like they need support currently with all the Destiny hero combos that are out there at the moment, right? Like, fucking, oh, I can't even, that... Uh, Destiny, Hero, Angel, whatever the fuck that one is. I, I run Heroes myself, but I don't run that. And, man, I get so sad for people when I see it pop up on their field. Just, all their spells, gone. Just gone. One, two, three, four. All right. We have Enoch, Century of the Gotti. Amaze Attraction, Thrill Train. Another Biscorned, go or Bicorned Gotti. Mumble Wrapping Folk. Moki Moki Adrift again. Sprite. Pixies, Brilliant Rose, T Elements Meta Noise, Sprite Smashes, and the super rare is Loris Lady of Lament. You can target three or six normal traps that are banished and or in your graveyard, place them on the bottom of your deck in any order, then draw one card for every three cards placed. If another monster is tributed, or if a normal trap is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, except during the damage step, you can target one normal trap in your graveyard, set it. You can only use each effect of Loris, Lady of Lament, once per turn. Decent. Bloody decent. That'll assist uh, trap tricks really, really, really well. Um, another pack, another pack. Let's get this shit open, eh? Yeah, guys, I'm trying to not stall as much as I did on the last one. I know I took bloody ages, but shout out to all of you that hung around. Eh? I know a couple of you slammed the stream on your TV and just watched me fucking the whole time, bro. You guys are legends. Legends. Um, Gunkinship Shari Red. Uh, we got Carter in the hidden gem of the seafront again. Crawler Soma. Life's Extreme. It's an equip spell. Cross Keeper. Haha. <laughs> T elements Havnus, more T elements, T elements Crime, Sprite Carrot, and we have uh, what's this one? This is an ultra rare, eh, bro. Like with the with the gold writing, we have a Moray of Avarice, Banus, blah, Banus, Banus. Okay, bro. <sighs> Banish one face up fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster you control, and draw two cards. You can only activate one Moray of Avarice per turn. Uh, Lee, yo, Lee, if you're here or not here, bro, Lee Macro from the Rotorua Group, you run a ocean control deck, this is probably really good for your deck. That's going to go up there. I'm going to, I want to case these up before I let that pile get too big. I'm going to tidy up this pile and we'll start with some more things. Um, ah, also, while we're not opening packs, Massive, massive, massive shout out to Card Merchant Hamilton. Like, if it wasn't for Card Merchant and Wilson, and oh, I feel so bad for this because I can never remember his name, but the guy behind the counter at Card Merchant in Hamilton, um, 
he met me today. Well, we've met each other before, but we spoke today. Um, bro, those guys are legit. Any of you aren't into trading cards and you get into trading cards and you need to get your your supplies or anything like that, you need to get into it, like get your deck boxes, your cards, your card cases, anything, go through Card Merchant. I'll tell you, no, you won't have customer service like that anywhere else. Also, they're really good for trades. They give a pretty decent rate on tradebacks compared to some other card places I've been to personally. So, yeah, they hook it up. <laughs> Marshall, Marshall, that's his name, Marshall, shout out to Marshall, and any of us in Rotorua, I think if I'm not mistaken, Idris, correct me if I'm wrong, but the bro Idris does sell booster packs, so if you're in Rotorua and you want to buy some booster packs, either hit up Idris or find the Rotorua Yu-Gi-Oh page, join it, and someone will add you, and you can probably contact Idris via there, if he's selling cards, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure he'll correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, and he doesn't do them at the stupid prices that you find them at Kmart or fucking EB Games for either. Like, he'll do them the same, similar prices as you'll see at Card Merchant for as far as I'm aware. Again, I could be wrong, but it, he's the only person that does singles outside of them. There you go. He won't have any at the moment because he'll be gone tomorrow, but sometimes he does. Yes, no. My bad if I'm like promoting you for fucking <laughs> nothing. <laughs> My bad. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Also, guys, if you guys like this stream and you know the four boxes I'm opening tonight, tomorrow night another one of our Yu-Gi-Oh bros, uh, Jacob Skeg, he'll be running a live stream where he will be opening twelve packets, which is an entire crate. So that's yeah. Four times, no, three times what I'm opening tonight. So if anyone wants to go catch, he has a high chance of getting the DPE Starlight. I mean, I'll be pretty jealous if he does, but also I'll be pretty stoked for him too. So if any of you want to watch some more tomorrow night, feel free to go chime in there. I'll organize with him to leave a link on the group that I made today at some point tonight, tomorrow morning, so you guys all have access to the stream. Um, yeah, let's continue. <coughs> stacking up all these cards that I've already pulled. Already a nice thick little um stack going on there. Uh, the bricks of cards you end up with at the end of these is, is always very, very amusing. As you can see, I'm just stacking them all back into the POT boxes that they came out from. And um yeah. So yeah, again, mention the giveaways one more time. What I'll be doing again is I'll just be getting dropping a link on the group that this has been posted to and also probably in the comment section somewhere uh, a link to my YouTube page there you'll be able to subscribe and like if you don't mind I mean I don't want to sound like one of those sellouts but I am selling out here like subscribe share the videos if you can like pump up the views when we get to a certain amount of subscribers I'll keep it low like I don't know 30 or so I'll do another stream that will open up a box or two and I'll dedicate that stream specifically to giving stuff away to people who have shared and subscribed to the channel. Um, also, if you'd like, if you're in the group, that'll give you a chance too, but if you're on the YouTube, that'll give you a double chance. Uh, after we've done with all these packs, I'll crack out some of the sealed things that I'll be giving away. Um, yeah, back to it. Okay, another pack, another pack. Uh, the Brother Mars, if you're here, I don't know if you are or not, bro, but I will have your dice tomorrow. I know I promised you some dice on the last stream. I will have those for you tomorrow. Lee, if you're around, I think I owe you a couple of cards. We need to sort that out too. But if I've told you you've won something, I have got it here for you still. Um, four. Okay. Uh, my Mises Elephant. Nightmare of the Dark Bonder. Enoch Century of the Gotti. Morphotronic Converter. Sprite Gamma Burst, Branded Expulsion, that got used on me today, bro, bro, wasn't cool man, wasn't cool, Overfusion, Brandon Central Dogmatica, and we've got another Ultra, yeah, Favorite Contact, um, Special Summon, one Fusion Monster from your extra deck that mentions a hero monster as material, ignoring its summoning conditions, 
by placing the fusion materials mentioned on it on the bottom of the deck in any order from among cards in your hand, field, graveyard and or your banished cards. Wow! If you placed Elemental Hero Neos into the deck, neither player can return the monster special summoned by this effect to the extra deck. You can only activate one favorite contact per turn. Man, that is fucking sick. I traded um, Absolute Zero and $3.50 for one of these today. Oh, no, it was Absolute Zero, one other card, and some coins for a secret rare one of these today up in Hamilton. That was pretty cool. I was pretty stoked. So now I've got two. I'll be using those on my freaking deck. That's bloody brilliant, that card. That's nasty. So, so nasty. Um, next pack, next pack. Oh, one, two, three, four. To the front. We have more Gunkin ships. So, yeah, I think it's only the one Gunkin ship card that comes in here. But if we come across another one, I'll definitely make a big deal out of it because those Gunkin ships are fucking hilarious. Um, Morphotronic Telephon, Gadget Gamer, Gotti Chain, oh, I'm going to call that the Mumble Rap deck, bro. Uh, Tialament Havnus, uh, Vernus Sliff, and The Changing Season. Is this more to do with, um, Floanderies? Like, ugh. Brilliant Rose, Vernus Sliff and the Flower Buds, and the uh, super rare is Scatter Fusion. Another Scatter Fusion, guys, so it's the second one of those we've pulled today. Um... Meh, I, I, I don't know nothing about the values here. So, like, you guys want to drop in the chat what cards are um, worth money or what cards we're looking out for that isn't the Starlight DPE. That'll be cool. And we'll try to keep an eye out for them while we're opening these bloody packs. What I'm going to do after this one is also pull my couch forward a bit because I am, like, so hella lent over. I'm going to be fucking looking like an 80-year-old at the dolls tomorrow. And that won't be cool, mate. Ah, okay. Terrors of the Overroot. Scar of the Vendred. Mimesis Elephant. Propagandake. Tialaments Murley. Tialaments Suliak. Venus Lift and the Flower Buds. Digit Jamming. And Shift Fairy of the Gotti. Okay. One second, guys. One second. Move this fucking couch. <laughs> um, next one, next pack, next pack. Alright. Sprite stuff and T element stuff. Alright, okay, okay. Oh, no, didn't do the card trick, didn't do the card trick. One, two, three, four. Uh, Pit Night Early. So it's a extra deck one. Gotti Chain, Morphtronic Telephon, Life Extreme, Branded in Central Dogmatica. Tialaments Crime, uh, Merry Malfies, Tialaments Metanoise, and Eaton Wave again, guys. Cool. Next pack. Card trick, card trick. One, two, three, four. Alright, I want to try doing it this way. Wait, is it upside down? No, it is upside down. Ha! Okay. Hydrolander Orbit. Uh, the Hidden Gem of the Seafront. Can't pronounce that name. Scar of the Vendred. Uh, Biscorned Mumble Wrapper. Malfi Penny. Tialaman's Metanoise. Ravenous Vendred. Ice Jade Creation. And another Tanuki's Crit Account. It's a good card, that one. Bloody good card. Alright, next, next, next. Uh, Riker Princess, Mumble Raft Chain, Moki Moki Adrift, Pit Night Early, Mary Malfi's, Tialaments Crime, Overfusion, Brandon Central Dog. Oh, guys, we just got a fat fucking pull, guys. It's it's we just paid off one box, one whole box just got paid off with one fucking card. Yeah, I've just gotten all weird. Look at this, look at this, Idris. Idris, Dougie, Dougie, are you watching? Guys, he's watching, watch. Are you watching? Dougie, Idris, Dougie, Idris. Oh, God, I hope you guys are watching. 
I just pulled the secret rare spike blue guys fucking do a backflip for me someone do a backflip I'm almost 30 I'm too old to backflip so someone backflip for me that is fucking suck yes Sprite Blue, guys. If you control a level rank 2 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Sprite Blue once per turn this way. If this card is special summoned, you can add one Sprite monster from your deck to your hand except Sprite Blue. You can only use the effect of Sprite Blue once per turn. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. We got a Sprite Blue. We got a Sprite Blue. I know I'm like being a little overreacty, but this is a big card, this is a good bloody card for this box, backflip activate, yeah bro, I'm going to make a trap card later, it's going to be called backflip activate, and every time I pull a cool card, I'm just going to whip that shit up, yup, that's, yup, <laughs> overfusion, and I think we did these Brandon Central Dogmatica, started losing my shit as soon as I saw that sprite blue away, like, oh my god, here we go guys, we're gonna case case it up, case it up, such a pretty fucking card too, like look at that, nice and sparkly, nice and sparkly, <laughs> neither can I address, don't worry bro, I can't even front flip unless it's off a tramp, <laughs> um, oh, there's more cards to case, I need to case those ones up, have not been casing them, oh, that is brilliant, see this is why we do this guys, we, we, we find cards like that, and then it's just, Oh, it makes the whole thing worth because like you know you, you, we, we, we spend a bit of money on these cards it's a bit silly because it's just cardboard with pictures on it right but it's when you when you get ones like this it's, it's what makes it worth it's what makes it worth okay stack up these cards get them all nice and neatly packed away into a POTE box and um, we will start getting some more packs open Oh, that Sprite Blue. Oh, I'm going to be going on about that for like the next five packs, I think. Ah, oh, Sprite Blue. Ah, oh. ah, oh, Sprite Blue, Sprite Blue. Let's pull another one. We want another one. Is what we want. Okay, okay. God hands, God hands. Let's go. One, two, three, four, to the front. Flip them over. We got Propagandic again, Morphtronic Airfon, Gunkin Ship, Morphtronic Scannon, Sprite Red, Overfusion, Malfi Penny, uh, Venus Lift of the Flowering Fields, and lastly we have another favorite contact. Fuck yeah. That makes me a play set. No, well bro, if, if I if I hit the DPE bro, I would get off this couch, I'd probably go around the back, I'd do something crazy and bloody hurt myself one way or another because the ADHD just does that. But yep, that you'll, you'll know when if I get the DPE bro. You'll know. You will know. <laughs> That's a hundred dollar card reaction, so think about that times whatever DPE is worth, like eight hundred dollars or some shit in it. Like whoa. One, two, three, four. Put those over there. Okay, we got Scar of the Vendred. Knight Mal the Dark Bonder. Gunkin Ship Shari Red. Double Dust Tornado Twins. We haven't pulled one of these yet. This looks like a pretty good card. We'll give it a read, eh? We'll give it a read. Target any number of set cards in your spell and trap zone. Return this card to the hand along with as many of those set cards as possible. Then you can set spell or traps from your hand equal to the number of cards returned to your hand by this effect. You can only activate one double dust tornado twins per turn. Ah, it's a good way to keep uh, in my deck. So obviously, mass chain super poly. It'll be a good way to keep that protected if you wanted to use it during your battle phase, eh? So you'll play some dummy cards. You'll have this set down, and then you'll hit the battle phase. You'll activate this, send the dummy cards back, and set your super poly or your mass change. Brilliant. More support for heroes. Well, I'll use that for heroes anyway. <laughs> um, Tialaman Suliak. Venus Sliff in the Changing Season. Some more, another Ice Jade card. Brilliant Rose. And Venus Sliff Corolla. We we have a, a, a Vernus Toyota Corolla, guys. It's uh, it's G rolling with its with its fucking with its 0 0.5 Jay Z engine. Um, Yep, cool magic card here. No, nah. <laughs> what does it do? All Earth monsters you control are also treated as Vernusliff monsters. Once per turn, if you would discard a Vernusliff monster, monsters, add one card to activate the effect of that Vernusliff monster in your hand. 
you can discard only that Verna Slith monster instead. Every time I said monster, it had an S on brackets in the end, so just remember that. I wasn't saying monster monsters every time. That to tell me to say monsters monsters. Like Jesus Christ. Okay, next pack, next pack. One, two, three, four. To the top. Get her over. Alright, Moki Moki Adrift. Another double dust tornado, which is pretty cool. Out, oh, look at me thinking monsters are traps now. Bloody hell. Terrors of the Overroot. My Mesis Elephant. Venus Slith of the Flowering Fields. Another Ice Jade. Venus Slith and the Flowering Buds. Digit Jamming. And another Vernus Toyota Corolla. Another one of those. That seems to be pretty common because I got five packs of this shit up at the dolls today and I pulled one of those then too, so yeah, must be a common card for all it's worth. Um, Digit Jamming, Morphtronic Converter, Hydrolander Orbit, Sorry, I heard a noise going off in my fucking hallway. That's why I've been quiet for a second there. Like, yeah, my bad, guys. Um, Life Extreme. Nightmare the Dark Bonder. Oh, I didn't do the card trick. I swear I did. Oh, fuck it. Osa the Earth Charmer. I think that's a nice pull. I'm not sure. I think it's worth a couple of bucks. Osa the Earth Charmer. Uh, I don't have her in Ultra Rare, but I do now. So, that's pretty cool. Um, Ravenous Vendred. Sprite Pixies, Cross Keeper, and Sprite Carrot. Alright, next one, next one, next one. Guys, we aren't even a quarter way through this bloody stack. I need to stop fart assing around, eh? Holy shit. Oh. One, two, three, four. We have Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. Haven't seen that one yet. Uh, another Shari Red Gunkin Ship, Gadget Gamer, Amaze Attraction Thrill Train. Sprite Gamma Burst, uh, Venus Lift in the Changing Season, Branded Expulsion, Overfusion, and Punk Jam Dragon Drive. I also grabbed one of these out of the five packs from the duels I did today. It's pretty cool. So another one of them there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, start getting those into the sleeves as we do. Oh, 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 oh. Fucking hell. What am I up to? What am I up to? Okay, those are those packed in there. Alright. Next pack, next pack. We'll do this one, two, there's three on this young stack on the side here. We'll do those three. And I'm going to pause for like two minutes so I can just go skull a coffee, chug back a cigarette. Yeah, I'm a smoker, what about it? Um, and then we'll get straight back into it, guys. And again, huge thank yous to all of you that have been here. If you've stopped in for a minute, if you've been here since the beginning, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it so much. Fucking camera guy is here. Camera guy needs to do something. Excuse any glitchy behavior. Ooh, the control. Cameraman's hand. <laughs> we have Riker Princess. Pit Night Early. Morphotronic Airfon. Uh, so you must use these to listen to the mumble rappers with, right? Like, fucking, uh, Droy, the most, <laughs> most distant, deepest depths, blah, blah, blah. the most distant, deepest depths. It's another card for water decks. Um, Ice Jade Creation, another one. Venus Lift of the Flowering Fields, T Elements Merly, T Elements Crime, and Mathmic Circular. Super rare, guys. Super rare in that one. Alright. One more here. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four. To the top. Flip them over. And this is how we do it. Double Dust Tornado Twins. Uh, Crawler Soma. Nightmare the Dark Bonder. Um, Gem of the Seafront. T-Elements Havnus, T-Elements Metanoise, 
Sprite Smashes. I got a fusion card at the back here. Hmm. Digit jamming. Oh, is this a good one? Is Jesh a good one? It's oh, it's secret. Oh, I got a secret rare, guys. I don't know if this one's good, but I think this one might be good. Yeah, Cherry by the Mars. Yeah. Oh, so you weren't here before when I said what I said, but you're here now. You won some dice on my last live stream, bro. I will have those for you tomorrow at the Hobby League when we come and do the pack opening thing and the card playings of the doings and the thingings. Yeah. Okay, now, yeah, I just pulled this. Um, anyone know if it's worth anything? Um, T Elements Kaleido Heart. You need a T Elements Rhino Heart and two Aqua Monsters. Cannot be used as fusion material. If this card is special summoned or if an Aqua Monster is sent to your graveyard by card effect while this card is on the field, you can target one card your opponent controls, shuffle it into the deck. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can special summon this card, and if you do, send one T Elements card from your deck to the graveyard. You can only use each effect of T Elements Kaleido Heart once per turn. That's the boss monster. Well, is is like oh okay cool, Oosh, cool. So it's like the it's like the Guardian Chimera of this box, because like I remember everyone made a big deal about Guardian Chimera coming out of fucking Battle of Chaos. <laughs> All right, no, I want that, um, I want that Neos monster. Isn't that the boss monster for this deck, or for this box? Oh, I guess there'd be multiple, one for each of the new builds, eh? So, damn, okay, cool. Well, oh, M Mars, since you're a little bit late, bro, I'll just show this one off to you, because I think you'll think it's cool. Um, I know I, I, I did one backflip for this card. It was a mean pull. I got Sprite Blue already. So, that's a $100 card, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Slap all those back together there. There's two secrets. Two secrets. And I think I've only gone through one box worth of fucking packs, mate. Like, honestly. Okay, anyway. Ah. One, two, three, four. Ah, the boss for T elements. Ah, okay, okay. I'm going to have a read through those tonight. Like, make sure I got some kind of knowledge for tomorrow. Because, again, I have not <laughs> researched this at all. Me and research do not go hand in hand until it's last minute. <laughs> um, Morphtronic Telephone. You must ring up the mumble rappers on that kind of light. Joy! Life Extreme. Uh, Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. Double Dust Tornado Twins. Again. Talaman, Suliak again. I gotta learn to hold these cards under the camera, otherwise you guys are just watching my face be retarded. Like, bruh, up to. Uh, Venus Lift and the Flower Buds, uh, Digit Jamming, Malfi Wally, and uh, Super Rare Sprite Jet. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we've gone through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22. We haven't even gone through a whole box, guys, and we're fucking pulling out two secret rares. Isn't that sick? Is that not sick? I think that's sick. Um, okay, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's clean this shit up again. Because cardboard likes to slide and do its thing. So... It's unthing its thing and humanize it, make it nice and organized, unlike the rest of my life. Um, and continue on with more pack openings. Like I said, I'm just gonna pop off cam for two minutes, guys. Um, I will not be long, I'm just gonna go and chug back my half a cigarette I got sitting there waiting for me because, yeah, just, yeah, just don't even. Um, I think it's this button, right, Stanley? It's that button. Oh, shout out, Kizza! Chirp, right? Shout out for tuning in, man.
to tell my guy, we oh, we ta to ta to we. Yeah, I'm, I'm karaoke in now, G. Oh, fuck, I'm just gonna close the door and, um, back in on it. <coughs> You can't sing for a ship, bro. I know. Yeah, shut up now, else. Um, <laughs> I am back. Okay. Back to opening these cards, boys. Back to opening these cards. Okay. Fucking, let's go. This is 24. This is the fucking closing of one whole box. So, one, two, three, four. Um, we got Moki Moki again, the most distant, deepest depths, Hydrolander Orbit, Crawler Soma, Venus Sliff of the Thawing Mountains, Sprite Red, Ravenous Vendred, Branded Expulsion, and Punk Jam Dragon Drive. Man, some of these cards are real tongue twisters, right? Like, it's like they want us to fucking have a stroke while we're trying to read them. God damn it. Pretty enough brain power trying to play the damn game involved. Bloody hell. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Mimesis Elephant. Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. Rooker Princess. Amaze Attraction Thrill Train. Mary Malfies. Venus Love of the Flowering Fields. Sprite Smashes. T Elements Crime. And Mathmic Circular. Okay. Next one, next one. Uh, I mean, shit, we're already an hour deep, guys, and I've only done one box. So I'm going to try and boost through the second box, and we'll talk some more shit during the third one. Two, three, four. Okay, okay. Next one, next one. Unless I pull that DPE, then I'm going to be doing some backflips, mate, or attempting to. I don't even know. <laughs> okay. Gem of the Seafront. If I pull a DPE, I'm going to try to do a backflip. Probably going to hurt myself, but fuck it. We'll do it for the stream. Um, Morphtronic Scanner, Pit Night Early, Amaze Attraction Dual Train, Sprite Gamma Burst, Venus Lift of the Flowering Fields, Cross Keeper, Mary Malfies, and Gem Knight Quartz. A second one of that new Gem Knight, guys. Um, next pack, next pack. I really want this guy. I really, really want this guy on the front. I don't know what his name is. Someone drop his name in the chat if you know what he's called. But I really want that dude, eh? Like, he'll look real pretty in my fucking Elemental Hero deck. Deepest. The most distant, deepest depths. Can it be the most deepest, distant depths? Or the depths of the most distant, deepest? No. <laughs> um, Terrors of Overroot. Propag propaganda. It's fucking Kim Jong-un's, like, nephew, bro. It's his bird. This is pet nephew bird. <laughs> oh, that's racist. Morphtronic Airfon. Branded Expulsion. Uh, Sprite Pixies, T-Elements, Metanoise, T-Elements, Haveness, and I got a Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond, another one of the new Gem Knight cards, guys. Cool. Fucking, what does this one do? Once per opponent's turn, the first time a Gem Knight monster you control will be destroyed by card effect. It is not destroyed. During your turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can banish one Gem Knight card from your graveyard and target one face-up card your opponent controls and destroy it. Not bad, not bad, but those destroy effects are pretty easy to counter, so... Yeah, but let's see what Quartz does while we're here. If your opponent controls a monster, you can discard this card, set one fusion continuous spell directly from your deck. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the, from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Gem Knight monsters. If this card is used as material for a fusion summon and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can add one Gem Knight monster from your graveyard to your hand, except Gem Knight Quartz. You can only use each effect of Gem Knight Quartz once per turn. Alright. I've never really been a big fan of Gem Knights, but... Gem Knights, everybody! Okay. This one. Next pack, next pack. Next pack, next pack. One, two, three, four, five. Over there. Uh, Askhan, the Biscorned Mumble Rapper. Terrors of the Overroot. Scar of the Vendred. Uh, Gem of the Seafront. Oh, boys! Did I not do the four cards? What the fucking fuck? <laughs> Elemental Hero, Spirit of Neos, the first one I've pulled. I know it's only a super rare 
but this is going to be a huge addition to my Elemental Hero deck. I need a playset. So everyone, pray for the God Hands on the playset of this shit, and I'm going to give it a read. Um, when your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position, and if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle. If this card is special summoned, you can add from your deck to your hand one polymerization or one spell or trap that mentions an elemental hero monster's card name. During your main phase, you can shuffle this card into the deck, and if you do, special summon one elemental hero normal monster from your deck. You can only use each effect of elemental hero spirit of Neos once per turn. Man, this guy's got an angel, he's got a ghost, he's got like a, a solid version of himself that has no effect. Man. He's got like a little mini me version even. Bro, this guy, this guy. I don't even play him. <sighs> okay. And with Digit Jamming, Sprite Gamma Burst, Brandon Central Dogmatica, and Verna Sliff in the Changing Season for the rest of that pack. Huh. Alright. Next one, next one, next one. Oh, cheers. Yo, Keza, how many of these did you get, Brian? Did you get any of these? Let us know, man. If you're still watching, that is. Okay. Mimesis Elephant. Nightmare the Dark Bonder. Enoch, Century of the Mumble Rappers. <laughs> Every time I see the word Gotti, I'm replacing it with Mumble Rapper. Morphtronic Converter. Verna Sliff and the Flower Buds. Oh, I got something good at the back, too. Bugger, I didn't want to know that. Branded and Central Dogmatica. Brilliant Rose. Digit Jamming. What have we got? Ah, oh, it's not even that great. It's just a super potty target. Super potty target. Oh. Oh, yo, so Kizza, Kizza's going live later too, guys. If you guys want to check him out, Kizza, drop a link on the group that I made today. If you're not in there, just let me know and I'll add you in. Drop a link there and I'm pretty sure everyone, myself included, will come and have a look, have a nosy, see what you're up to. Yeah. And then there's the bro, um, don't forget there's the bro, uh, Jacob, Jacob Scrigg. He's doing a live stream tomorrow, bro. Uh, of a whole entire crate. Oh, I'm so jelly. I'll work my way up there. I'll get up there. Anyone wants to donate some money for me to buy a crate of Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Um, my bank? No, fuck that. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Fund my addiction, please. No. Um, Gadget Gamer. Oh, that's not a mad. That's not a fucking monster card. Gadget Gamer. Morphtronic Converter. The most distant, deepest depths. Nightmare of the Dark Bonder, Brilliant Rose, Tealements, Metanoise, Crosskeeper, Tealements, Haveness. Oh, we got an XYZ. We got an XYZ. Jig. I think this is a good one. This was used against me today, too. Like, three times, bro. Gigantic Sprite. This is the super rare from the pack I just opened. Lee, you're late, bro. Not happy, bro. It's not cool, bro. No, all good, G. Sup, man. Shop for making it. Appreciate all the support, eh? Like, honestly. Um, next one, next one, next one. Yeah, it's a sprite rank two, dude, and it's pretty OP, dude. Like, fuck, man. I I, I got owned with it today. <laughs> one, two, three, four. I've already pulled two secrets, Lee, and it's only been one box and maybe a few extra packs. So one. One that makes a whole box, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm only seven packs deep into the second box, bro. No Exo Sisters yet, brother, but if I pull any, uh, I'll consider giving you one. No. <laughs> Hydrolander Orbit. Double Dust Tornado Twins. Crawler Soma. Nightmare the Dark Bounder. Brandon Central Dogmatica. Sprite Red. Brilliant Rose. Digit Jamming. And we have a Loris Lady of Lament. So we have another one of those uh, trap supports. Real good for trap trick decks. Alright, I won't touch the back pile. I want to finish the front pile first. Alright. I feel like I feel like the DPE would be in the back pile somewhere halfway down. One, two, three, four. Put that to the front. Close that off. And gun can ship Shari Red. Go. Morphtronic Telephone, calling the fucking Mumble Rappers, Gadget Gamer, Mumble Rap Chain, Ravenous Vendred, Tialamint Suliak, Melfi Penny. Oh yeah, Lee, there's a shit ton of Melfis, bro. Sprite Gamma Burst, and these motherfuckers do not need any more support. Ha, oh, bro. These, are, these This deck is my one nightmare. 
got another Albaz support. This one's called Albaz the Ashen. Ah, this card names becomes Fallen of Albaz while on the field or in the graveyard. Oh, fucking course it does. <laughs> while level 8 fusion monster is in your graveyard, this card gains 200 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Also, your opponent cannot target other monsters you control with card effects. Fucking rat shit. If a monster you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, while well, this card and a fusion monster are in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card. You can only use this effect of Albaz the Ashen once per turn. Oh, that Albaz though, that Albaz though. Hmm. Oh. They are the one deck I'm like legitimately scared of. Like, every time I duel an Albaz deck, it's just like, ah, oh, I don't... It, the, the whole build makes me nervous. It just makes me nervous. <laughs> okay, next pack, next pack. And next pack, bro. One, two, three, four, you mate. We're gonna, we're gonna read these ones out, mate. Engage a gamer. Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. Propaganda. Fucking Kim Jong Un's boy. Morphotronic Converter. Melfi Wally. Ravenous Vendred. Tialaman Suliak. Sprite Smashers. And haven't gotten this one. Shift Fairy of the Mumble Rappers. Uh. For those of you who haven't been here since the joke started, all the cards that say Gotti on them, I'm going to call them Mumble Rappers. Um, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one fish monster you control. It gains 500 attack until the end of this turn. During the standby phase of the next turn after this card was banished, you can special summon this banished card. During your opponent's main phase, if this card was special summoned this turn, you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves. Synchro summon one fish synchro monster using this card you control. You can only use each effect of shift fairy of the Gotti once per turn. Really good support for water decks again just those water decks are getting quite a bit of support in here too which is pretty sick to see because nah bro Gotti means mumble rapper catch up with the times come on joy no. well alright what have we got uh hydrolander orbit keep doing that uh, Gem of the Seafront, Scar of the Vendred, the Bicorned Mumble Wrapper, Branded Expulsion, Overfusion, Branded and Central Dogmatica, T Elements Haveness, Eka the Flame Buddy. I've got two of these now. It's another one of the Ultras I pulled from the five pack I got from Duels today. So, you know, almost out of play set. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Enoch Century of the Mumble Rappers. Okay, that's cool. Gem of the Seafront. Morphtronic Airphones. Um, Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. Verna Sliff and the Flower Buds. Tealament Suliak. Ice Jade Creation. Azuro Cassis. I have never. Yeah, but more. Mirror Jade. Venus Lift and Changing Season. Ian Engage. Neo Space. So it's two of those for me now. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, gonna case these ones up. Stack these ones up. Put them in the box. And then we will continue with some more. Pray for some more secret rares. All that Starlight DPE. It sucks that the DPE only comes in Starlight and its secret rare equivalent from bloody... Yeah, because it needs more prints. Like, everyone loves using that card. I mean, a month ago I would have been like, don't use DPE if you're not using heroes. But, ah, uh, it's good fun to see it pop up. And then I super poly it. Um. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, yeah, I think Gotti does mean fish. I'm just taking the puss by. <laughs> um, alright, alright, alright. Damn. So, this is all commons up in this box here. This one's like almost full. Fucking look at all that. Jesus.
trees, man. There's poor trees I'm buying. Fuck. Rad shit. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're 11 deep into this next box. Huh. I'll show you guys the, the, the mountain of empty wrappers over that way when we're done. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, to the front. Amaze Attraction, Thrill Train, Riker Princess, Morphtronic Airphone, The Most Distant, Deepest Depths. Melfi. Oh, got something good at the back. Something good at the back. It's all sparkly and stuff. Melfi, Melfi Penny, Sprite Gamma Burst, Overfusion, Sprite Pixies. Oh, wow, we have got another secret rare. Lee. Lee, 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 Lee. Oh, can you guess what it is, Lee? There's a reason why I'm pointing you out. Ah, uh, Naji, all good. The missus is going to drop me off on the way off somewhere else, bro, about 9.30, so it's all good, G. Thanks, though. But, yeah, can you guess what the card that I just pulled is, Lee? I'm going to count down from five, and if you haven't left the message, you can't have it. One... Two, three, four, five. No, that 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 was not what the card is. You're gonna be bummed because you're gonna want this, but I'm probably gonna sell it. Unfortunately, sorry, bro. Unless it's not worth much, and you might be able to have it. Um, Exo is the Exo is the Martha secret rare. Um, if you control no monsters or only X Y Z monsters. You can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, special summon one Exo Sister Alice from your deck. You cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate this effect, except Exo Sister monsters. If a card moves out of either graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon from your extra deck one Exo Sister XYZ monster using this face up card you control as material. This is treated as an XYZ summon. You can only use each effect of Exo Sister Martha once per turn. I'll get that valued up at some point. That's going straight into a case. <laughs> So that's three secret rares, guys. I pulled three secrets, whole bunch of gold, gold riding fucking ones, and then a whole lot of standard supers. I might give those a quick organize, because, yeah, otherwise I will be um thinking about it for the entirety of the rest of this stream. And they are sitting there uncased also, so. He... Hopefully I get another one of those blue sprites. That'll be cool. Or again, that Starlight DPE. I mean, shivs. Oh, sure, how many orders have I given you a shout out, bro? No, I have another one of the Rotorua boys. By the Hummy Order. Fucking, he's, he's a mad dollar bro. Like, he's, he's probably like, it's a tough decision between him and Dougie. Who's the better one? Like, I have only dulled Hummy Order, so I can't really say on my end. <laughs> Boys, who do you reckon's the better dollar stay? Hey, hey, how many order? Dougie, address and the input. Lee, nah, I'm just being a dick, you guys. <laughs> Ignore me. They're gonna fucking rip on me tomorrow, man. Ho 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 ho. I'm not going to lie, everyone at Hobby League, like, all of us, we're all pretty decent at the cards. I mean, like, not going to lie, I'm probably on the lower end, because I'm always fucking losing. But, like, some of you guys are pretty bloody good, eh? And I'm like, oh, I was damn surprised when I rolled back in here after a 10-year hiatus to see some dedicated-ass players like you guys. It's bloody cool. It was really, really, really cool. I don't think if I think if you guys weren't even here, I probably wouldn't have hung around in the scene as long as I have. Really, wouldn't be sitting here doing the stream and shit because half the reason I hung around was because the Rotary crew was so sick. We're not talking about you, Lee. Go away, not kidding. <laughs> jokes, bro. Jokes. You big head, though. Go on now. Go on now. 
Alright. Those are ultras. Uh, secret over there. Uh, secret there. Um, super, ultra, super, super. Oh, I haven't cased that one. Secret. Super, 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 super. Ultra, super, ultra, super, 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 and then the ultra res. Okay. Yeah, I finally uh, caved in and got some blooming um, Dark Magician Girl cases. Oh, yeah, nah, Terry's cool, bro. I'm trying to get my missus to come in and duel with us, but she's think bum. Hey, babe. <laughs> she don't hear me. All right. I'm going to put these down below. We'll go back through them at the end of the stream. Um, sleeve up this one. Mm, cool, 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 cool. Ah, uh, fuck, leave those there. Those are all good. Those are all good. Okay, back to pack opening, guys. Back to pack opening. Life Extreme. Nightmare of the Dark, Bonder, Double Dust Tornado Twins, Terrors of the Overroot, Brandon Central Dogmatica, Venus Lift of the Thawing Mountains, T Elements Crime, Mary Malfies, and another Loris Lady of Lament. My missus would beat me with a 50 stack of just Exodia parts, bro, straight up. No. <laughs> One, two, three, four, over the top. Uh, Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. Duncan, Sh Duncan Shoe Shari Red. Hold on there. Amaze Attraction Thrill Train. Morphotronic Converter. Sprite Smashes. T Element Meta Noise. Sprite Red, Sprite Gamma Burst, and another Scatter Fusion. Man, this is this is like the Pokies, but sort of better, because like once you put your money in the machine, your winnings come back, and they don't go like, they don't really go like this, like your, you take your initial investment, you put it in, you're at zero, and then really your value just goes back up and you just hope you go past whatever you initially invested. If you didn't, you still had fun. Like, it's fucking sick. <laughs> um, Nightmare, the Dark Bonder. Uh, Gem of the Seafront. Pit Night Early. Overfusion. Malfi Penny. Malfi Wally. Venus Lift of the Flowering Fields. And Tialament's Raino Heart. This one is an ultra rare, guys. That one's pretty cool. That one looks bloody cool. Um, and then at the back we've got Morphotronic earphones to call the Mumble Rappers. Um, this T Elements Rhino Heart, its effect is... If this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one T Elements monster from your deck to the graveyard, except T Elements Rhino Heart. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. And if you do, send one T Elements card from your hand to the graveyard. You can only use each effect of T Elements Rhino Heart once per turn. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, yeah, I mean, like, a lot of people could probably beat me with a 50 stack of straight traps as long as they had some cylinders in there and some shit to burn my life points or to mull me out. Like, yeah, I, rec I reckon that's possible, bro. <laughs> To be honest, like, I don't really think I'm the fucking greatest duelist ever. Because, like, I'm only really good when there's a computer involved, so. <laughs> and, yeah. But fucking, um, I mean, I'm in it for the fun of it. Like, it's mean fun. And then you got this aspect of it, and you got the social aspect of it. And then you got the fucking reminiscing on the cool shit you did back at high school when you played cards side of it. And that just all adds up to be bloody brilliant. But yeah, nah. 
I honestly don't think I'm that great of a duelist at all. <laughs> I am a real good shit talker though. Ha <laughs> ha. No. <laughs> Alright, next one, next one. One, two, three, four. Tomorrow is going to be sick. Scar of the Vandred. Hydroland Orbit. Double Dust Tornado Twins. Life Extreme. Ice Jade Creation. AG blah 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 blah. blah. Venus Lift into Flowering Buds, Digit Jamming, Ravenous Vendred, and Scareclaw Straddle. Haven't come across one of these yet. Um, you can activate one of the following effects. Target one Scareclaw Monster or one Visa Star Frost in your monster zone and one face-up monster your opponent controls. Your monster gains attack and defense equal to your opponent's monster's attack and defense, whichever is higher. When a card or effect is activated that targets a Scareclaw monster or Visa Star Frost you control, negate that effect. You can only activate one Scareclaw straddle per turn. Huh. Okay. Not something I'll ever use. Oh, thank you, Lee. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Vanguard of the Underground Emperor, Morphotronic Scannon, Propagandic, uh, Morphotronic Converter, Sprite Pixies, Crosskeeper, Sprite Carrot, Sprite Gamma Burst, and at the back we have a Ritual card? What the far out Christ is this? Vendred Scavenger, apparently. You can Ritual Summon this card with any Vendred Ritual spell. During the main phase, quick effect, you can tribute one other zombie monster. This card gains attack equal to the tributed monster's original attack until the end of this turn. If you control Revendred Slayer and this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of Vendred Scavenger once per turn. This card's a bit of a badass, isn't it? Damn. Hey. And then we got those three there. I think I've already read them out. Alright, um, why have I got two piles for magic cards? God damn it. Alright. Anyone's gonna hang around at the end, I'm gonna do like ratios and check out like what you pull more of. By the looks of it, we're pulling more T elements than anything else. And like the heroes, you know, they're pretty rare. This flagship card seems to be pretty rare because still haven't come across one. Here's hoping though. Three, four, let's go, let's go. What's this one? Riker Princess, Mumble Wrap Chain, Moki Moki Adrift, Pit Night Early, Venus Lift in the Changing Season. I'm not holding on to the camera, God, I suck. Brilliant Rose, Venus Lift in the Flower Buds, Melfi Penny. Oh, another secret rare, guys. Prime Evil Planet uh, Perlorano. Prime Evil Planet Perlorano. All right. When this card is activated, you can add one T Elements monster or one Visa Star Frost from your deck to your hand. Fusion monsters and T Element monsters you control gain 500 attack. If a T Elements monster you control or in your graveyard is shuffled into the deck or extra deck except during the damage step, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. You can only use this effect of Primeval Planet Perlorino once per turn. You can only activate one Primeval Planet Perlorino per turn. Yeah, I just pulled another, oh, Cherub Brother LeMay, shop for showing up, cheers for the support, appreciate it. Um, Primeval Planet per Lorena. Alright, that's the next secret that I've just pulled out. I'm going to case that bad boy up, put it with the other ones, and open another pack. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good card. Sounds like a good card. And they've printed in secret, so hopefully we get three. Okay. Scar of the Vendred. Morphotronic F1. Why have I got traps on my extra deck ones? Um, my Mises Elephant. Gadget Gamer. T Elements Metanoise. Ravenous Vendred. Ice Jade. Mary Malfies. And Shift Fairy of the Mumble Rappers. This one. Next, next, next. Two, 
flip it over. Rocket Princess, Propagandic, Double Dust Tornado Twins, The Most Distant Deepest Depths, Ravenous Vendred, Branded Expulsion, Malfi Wally, Mary Malfis, and Power Tall Braver Dragon? Haven't seen that one yet. Let's have a look, have a look. One tuner or one non tuner monsters. If this card is special summoned, you can equip up to three equip spells with different names from your deck and or graveyard to this card. During the main phase, you can send one of your equipped spells equipped to this card to the graveyard, then target one effect monster on the field. Either change its battle position or until the end of this turn, negate its effects. You can only use each effect of power tool Braver Dragon once per turn. Huh. It's a pretty generic, um, pretty generic synchro summon. Got a pretty solid effect. Decent. Decent, decent, decent. Okay. So yeah, don't forget those of you that stick around at the end. I'll show you some of the sealed cards that I'll be giving away for what I explained earlier in the stream. I'll re-explain at the time when I show you the cards and whatnot. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Meh. Next card. Fucking most distant, deeper steps. God, I'm sick of seeing this card. I'm honestly sick of seeing it. <laughs> Pit Night Early. Uh, Askan the Bicorn, Mumble Rapper, Life Extreme, Tealament's Crime, Overfusion, Brandon Central Dogmatica, Sprite Red, and Venus Slift Toyota Corolla. Holy heck. Alright. We're going to finish off this front pack here. So we've got like one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eek. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We've got seventeen packs left to go from the front row. And then I'm gonna go for a couple minute break and then I'll get back into it again, guys. Uh sweet. Keep queuing, keep queuing. One, two, three, four. Uh Morphotronic Scannon, Double Dust Tornado Twins. Gadget Gamer, Moki Moki the Drift, Branded Expulsion, T Elements Merly, Melfi Wally, Melfi Penny, and another Osa the Earth Charmer. I got four booster boxes. Four booster boxes. So yeah, we're pretty much done through two at this point, I think. Approaching the third, or maybe just cusping the third, breaking into the third. Next pack, next pack. One, two, three, four. To the front. Flip her over. Propaganda, Crawler Soma. Hydrolander Orbit. Nightmare of the Dark Bonder. Tea Elements Heaveness. Sprite Smashes. Sprite Carrots. Venus Lift of the Thawing Mountains. And we have another Punk Jam Dragon Drive. Alright, alright. These, these stacks are getting big, guys. These stacks are getting big. Yeah, next one, next one, next one. Pray for that Starlight DPE, guys. Starlight DPE. One, two, three, four. To the front. Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. Morphotronic Telephone. Morphotronic Scannon. Crawler Soma. Brandon Central Dogmatica. Sea Elements Haveness. Ice Jade Creation. Venus Lift and the Changing Season and Grand Tusk Dragon. Haven't pulled one of these yet. So it's another one to add to the list of cards that come from this pack. Um, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can target up to two other cards on the field and destroy them. And if you do, this card gains 600 attack for each card destroyed. You can only use this effect of Grand Tusk Dragon once per turn. Damn! Decent. 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 One, two, three, four. Let's go. All right, we got our bicorn mumble wrap, a maze attraction, thrill train, morphotronic telephone, the most distant, deepest deaths, crops, cross keeper, Venus lift in the flowering fields, brilliant rose, sprite pixies, and Malfi starting contest. Haven't gotten one of these yet. Another one off the list. Um, you can reveal one beast monster in your hand, add one Malfi monster with a different name from your deck or graveyard to your hand and place that revealed monster on the bottom of the deck. You can only use this effect of Malfi steering contest once per turn. 
At the start of your opponent's battle phase, you can reveal any number of Malfi monsters in your hand and keep them revealed during this battle phase only. Monsters your opponent controls lose attack equal to the combined attack and defense of the monsters revealed by this effect. That's a pretty good Malfi support. That's new Malfi support right there, I think, unless it's a reprint, but I'm pretty sure it's a new one. But yeah, no, fuck Malfi support. There you go, Leah, bigger, bigger, bigger pile for you to buy tomorrow, G. Or trade, whatever, whatever you want to do. <laughs> I owe you a Dark Necro Fair from the last stream, don't I? Oh, I've got that still seal in the pack. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten me. It's like I owe Mars those dice. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Alright, Morphotronic F1. Most deepest, blah, blah, depth card. Uh, chain, Gamer. They always do this with the secrets. They make it show up in the middle of the pack because they know we do that pack trick. They know we do the pack trick, so we can't get it at the back, we get it in the middle, and it surprises us twice. But look what I just got. Look what I just got. Teeps and shares. Who's that, LeMay? Huh. Instant contact. Another secret rare instant contact. Oh, was this the card I bought today? I can't remember, but I think I've got two of these now, I'll check my bag after, pay a thousand like you, this is the one I bought today, this is the one I bought today, I need to play set of these, they're fucking sick, rare here, this shit, play, blah, blah. pay a thousand life points, special summon one level seven or lower elemental hero or neo spatium monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions, while elemental hero neos is neither on your field nor in your graveyard, the special summon monster cannot attack. Its effects are negated. Also, it returns to the extra deck during the end phase. You can only activate one instant contact per turn. I share the stream to him via a message, bro. It'll be easier to get him linked that way as opposed to trying to take him in the streams. I don't think it will. Unless it did tag him, then sweet. Welcome, everybody welcome. Once again, I'll give you all another shout out at this point. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate the fuck out of the support, man. Like, I've got 11 of you watching all at once. That's bloody sick. That's double what I had last time live. And yeah, again, appreciate it all. Appreciate all you taking your time to come watch this. Like, I hope I'm doing something cool for you here. I don't know. But yeah, more packs. One, two, three, four. To the front. Flip her over. Moki Moki. Amaze Attraction. Rooker Princess. Mimesis Elephant. Vernisliff. Tialaments. Uh, Merly. Tialaments Chrome. Tialaments Havnus. And Rooker Con Con. I was about to say Rooker Condom G. Ha! It's a protection spell. <laughs> anyway. Um, if you control a Ricker monster, you can set one Ricker spell or trap directly from your deck to your spell and trap zone. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except plant monsters. You can only use this effect of Ricker Condom once per turn. Once per turn, if you attribute a plant monster you control to activate a Ricker card or effect, you can tribute any one face-up monster your opponent controls, even though you do not control it. Holy mother of hell, that is vicious. It's like a it's like a super poly, but super effect tributer. And it's a field card too. God damn, son. I might try these rookers out at some point. They sound nasty. Oosh. Yo, LeMay, we gotta have a duel later, bro. If you're jamming on Master Duel or something, fuck, we gotta have a game. We gotta have a game. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll probably start streaming my Xbox to my... um. Facebook too at some point. Um, one, two, three, four, five. To the front. Oh, no. That's where I messed it up, isn't it? Oh, oh well. Oh, I fucked this pack up. Oh, well, G. <laughs> Morphotronic Telephone. Hydrolander Orbit. Scannon. Soma. S uh, Suliac. Digital Jamming. Or digit Jamming. Smashes. Metanoise. And Punk Jam Extreme Session. Another field card. Once per turn, you can banish one punk card from your graveyard. Special summon one punk monster from your hand. If a psychic monster you control paid life points to activate its effect, you can draw one card. You can use this effect of Punk Jam Extreme Session up to twice per turn. Not bad. 
Okay, we're going to tidy up the stack. The stack's getting tall. Stack's getting high. It's getting up there. It's getting up there. All right, come on. Two. Three. And the extra deck monsters. Four. So, I think I can pack a few more into this box. I think. I think we're over the halfway mark now, guys. I think. I think. Count up in a minute. Count up all the ultras, all of our supers that are left over. See what we got going on here. Check out our fucking stacks upon stacks of now dead trees. Eh. Alright. Putting these down here. We officially have one entire box full of commons. Yes, commons. Um, these ones here. These ones here can all go in there. Go through and resort them all later. Basically, sort it out. Getting into any of these. How many of these come in one of these packs? 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, there's 13 in there. So many of these are here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we've opened 49 packs. 49 of 2, 4, 6, 8, 4, 8, 12, 16. 49 of 96. So we're just one pack over halfway, guys. Another huge thank you to you all that have hung around for an hour 37 minutes and watched all of this bullshit go down. Fucking thank you. I appreciate it. Um, get these all stuck into some cases. Get them down with the one downstairs there. We'll open up one more pack to meet the 50 mark. And then see what else we go. Come on, that blessed 50th pack. This guy's got to have something good in it, right? The, the 50th the 50th power of the elements has got to have something good in it. Like she is, son. I can see all these cards being quite playable too, especially these um supers and ultras. They all have pretty decent effects, especially for this the the decks they're supporting. I mean, it's going to give a lot of things like um, Albaz a hard time. Where did I get my sleeves? Ah, uh, Card Merchant Haley. Just go on the Card Merchant website. Yeah, promoting Card Merchant. Give me a job. <laughs> card Merchant website. Bloody um, they've got a few more lots of the Dark Magician Girl card sleeves in there. I only got these ones today. I traded in a few cards for some store credit. Got like twenty five bucks store credit. Got me a couple sleeves. And this cool Karibo deck box, bro. Uh, I don't know where it is. I don't know where I put it. But yeah, Dark Magician Girl sleeves. Old uh, Lee Mark up there was the first one out of the ones I know to get them. And I seen some today, so I was like, I couldn't help myself. I've got cool Karibo cases too. They're all Konami. They all order their cases from Konami too. So they're Konami official sleeves. Perfect size for your cards. Bloody yeah. Card Merchant. Card Merchant Hamilton. Car Merchant Takapuna, Car Merchant Auckland, Car Merchant! I should just put a bloody um, Car Merchant logo in the fucking backdrop of my bloody um, Cameraman next time. I know you're watching Cameraman. Cameraman, next time we do a stream, we're going to put a uh, Car Merchant in the back backdrop. Because they're good cunts. I probably won't do one for a couple of weeks because I've sort of maxed out me credit limit for buying, for getting a hold of cards. So I have to do some work and towards selling some cards, distributing some cards, and then I'll get more cards. And that way, yeah. You got the Dark Magician Girl deck box. I pulled up a um, Karibo to match my mat because I've actually got the folder. I've got 200 Karibo cases of this design, and now I've got the deck box. So I'm pretty stoked. I got all the Karibo setups. I love Karibo. Karibo is a shit. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Cool. Alright, so this is the stack of supers, ultras, and secrets, guys. It's going on nicely. It's a full-on 49 deck of Dark Magician Girls. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh snap, Haley, that's right, you're the one that bought all my Dark Magicians off me. Fucking fat shout out to you. Sorry, the ADHD really fucking makes me forget shit. But yo, this chick, she bought all my bloody Dark magician shit last time when I did the last opening. And it refunded two thirds of the money worth of what I spent on opening those boxes. I was so bloody stoked, eh? And that money there went on buying things that you know, was meant to be bought with the money I spent getting those last boxes, so, yeah, we'll get more boxes in the next few weeks, guys, open more boxes, it'll be sick, alright, another one, another one, we have Venus Slip in the Changing Season, Brilliant Rose, Thawing Mountains, Talamans Merrily, Sprite Alf, haven't pulled one of those yet, that I'm a bit stoked about because it's towards a Sprite deck, I'm obviously going to have to teach myself Lynx after this, <laughs> Vanguard of the Underground Emperor, Gadget Gamer, uh, Eonoch Century of the Gotti, and my Mises Elephant, okay, next pack, next pack, I'm going to need to make me a coffee after I finish off this stack in the front row guys, I am starting to move off, one, two, three, four, to the front. Morphtronic Scannon, Crawler Soma, Terrors of the Overroot, Morphtronic Converter, uh, Venus Love of the Flowering Fields, Sprite Red, Sprite Smashes, T Elements Crime, and another Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond. All right. Next one, next one, next one. I've got to stop holding them out of camera view, eh? Fucking hell. So I need a coffee. One, two, three, four. Propagandake. Double Dust Tornado Twins. My Mises Elephant. Enoch Century of the Gotti. Brilliant Rose. Vernusliff of the Thawing Mountains. Flower Buds. Melfi Penny. And Therion Empress Elasia. Not the new one. Mm. Okay, here it is. It's a pretty, pretty shiny hollow. Super rare. Um, what does it do? You can only use each of the following effects of Therian Empress Elasia once per turn. You can target one Therian monster or one reptile monster in your graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand and if you do, equip the monster to this card. You can discard one card then target one Therian monster in your spell and trap zone and special summon it. A Therian monster equipped with this card gains 700 attack. Also, it can activate the second effect listed above as if it were a Therion Empress Elasia. Wow. Nasty. I knew Therions were okay, but mm, that's nasty. <laughs> Some new support for Therions there. Alright. Oh, there's... No, there's the other C's I got. I don't know the fucking deck boxes. Oh, well. Anyway. One, two, three, four. Two, the thing. Ah, uh, Moki Moki, Morphtronic Converter, Distant Deeper Steps, Ripper Princess, Ice Jade Creation, Vernusliff. Oh, what am I up to, G? Vernusliff and the Flower Buds, Digit Jamming, Tialaments Merely, and Scare Claw Straddle again. Let me pull one of those. Okay. Picking up my mess, picking up my mess. Over there. I can't wait to show you guys the mountain of empty booster packs. Fuck, it's hilarious. Uh, it's just over half. Shit, it's gonna be massive by the time I'm done. One, two, three, four. To the front. Gadget Gamer. A Maze Attraction. My Mises Elephant. Nightmare of the Dark Bonder. Ravenous Vendred. Sprite Pixies. Malfi Wally. Crosskeeper. And Tialaments. Siren. I don't know if I pulled one of those already or not, but more T elements. I mean, T elements and sprites. They both seem like they're pretty OP um, builds, to be honest. Again, no research was done before today. I have not done any reading about them. Just what I've come across other people talking about them. Something about fucking fuse from the grave effect, which is pretty sick. Gotta look into that. Bloody yee. Yay. Okay, okay. Next pack, next pack. One, two, three, four. To the front. 
Crop, Began, Drake, Vicorn, Mumble Rapper, Crawler Soma, Morphtronic Telephone, Sprite Carrot, Sprite Red, Sprite Gamma Burst, it's a Sprite Pack, oh, and another instant contact, oh, fuck yes, now I have a playset, now I have a playset, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, yes, uh, Venus off in the Changing Season, fuck yes, playset, that's not bad, that's not bad, Definitely not complaining. Comes going to be charging eyeball in the socket for those three months from now. I can guarantee you that. One, two, three, four. Two in the front. Flipper over. Enoch Century of the Mumble Raps. Pit Knight early. Terrors of the Overroots. Uh, Gem of the Seafront. Tealaman Suliak. Branded Expulsion. Overfusion. Venus of the Thawing Mountains. And... Exo Sister Returnia. If all monsters you control are Exo Sister monsters, pay 800 life points and target one card your opponent controls or in their graveyard and banish it. Then you can apply one of the following effects. Immediately after this effect resolves, XYZ summon one Exo Sister XYZ monster using monsters you control. If you XYZ summon this turn, banish one card your opponent controls. You can only activate one Exo Sister Returnia per turn. Oh, Lee, you'll like that one, bro. That one's up your up your exo sister alley, my friend. Oh, so we got three more on the front row, guys. Give us some give us some God hand pulls. Give us some God hand prayers. Some blessings. Bless us. Bless us. <laughs> Come on guys. Bless us. Bless us. We need some we need some good shit. We need some good shit. Amaze attraction. Gadget Gamer. Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. Gotti Chain. Ice Jade. Venusla Flowering Fields, Ravenous Vendred, Tialamint Murley, and another Punk Jam Extreme Session. Alright, two more packs, two more packs. Two more packs on the row. We still got like a whole stack of packs to go, guys. I'm just going to go for a coffee break after this next pack. Alright, one, two, three, four, to the front. Terrors of the Overroot, Life Extreme. What are you doing over there, really? Uh, Seafront, Morphtronic Airphone, Talamance Crime, Mary Malfi's, Talamance Havenus, Talamance Metanoise. Oh, uh, first poll. Venus Lift of the Flourishing Hills. That's over there. Venus Lift of the Flourishing Hills. Venus Lift monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can discard this card and one monster or Venus Lift card. Add one Venus Lift card from your deck to your hand, except Venus Lift of the Flourishing Hills. Then you can special summon one Earth Monster from your graveyard. Also, you cannot activate non-Earth Monsters effects for the rest of this turn. You can only use this effect of uh, Venus Lift of the Flourishing Hills once per turn. Cool. You probably uh, took off the entire list soon, I think. I'm only short one or two cards at this point. Um, one, two, three, four. Shiny bits of cardboard get put to the front. Chain, adrift. Uh, Century of the Gotti. Pit Knight early. Malfi Wally. Sprite Smashes. Digital Jamming. Malfi Penny. And Ika the Flame Buddy. Alright, guys. So that is it for the front row of packs. We are a little over halfway through the pile of packs. Still have a little less than half left, obvious by my first statement. Um, just so I can give you guys a look. Still some more there to open. A whole bunch of few stacks, few stacks. So we'll go through those at the end after I've had a coffee. Um, might shove some hot chips down my gullet and then wash my hands so I don't grease up my cards. Uh, it's 7.02. Let's say we get back to this at 7.20. Because it's all enough time to go fuck off, do whatever we need to do and come back. Again, thank you guys so much for joining in. I appreciate it so much. Link to my YouTube channel will be added into the group later on. If you're not in the group, send me a PM, holler out, and I'll add you to the group. Um, yeah, cheers. See you soon.
What the fuck? Jinx, eh? I don't think it was a cat. No, it was. It was Jinx. Jinx just thumped your dog. She's a bitch. Come here. She's a bitch to the dog. You're alright, Lindsay. She's not gonna do it again. Don't worry. She's gonna behind the room. Okay, it's gonna be
Holy fuck, I'm late, G. Nothing unusual for me. <coughs> Alright. For the few viewers that remain throughout that break, I am back. Thank you guys for hanging around. <coughs> um, <coughs> live. <coughs> ah. Alright. So, we are going to pile drive through the remainders of these packs now. Alright. So, let's go. I'm only gonna. I'm not really gonna read out the singles anymore. I'm just gonna separate them into their into their piles, and I'll call out the super or the ultra or the secret if I pull one. Starlight DBE. Okay. One, two, three, four. To the front. Actually, let's open up a few packs, and we'll just do that. Okay. We'll do five at a time. That way makes it easier. Shout out to Tips and Shares, bro. Sup, man. Haven't met or spoken to you before, but shop for coming to the stream and checking it out. I appreciate it, man. Um, one, two, three, four. Up there. That's five packs. Orbit! Stop, please. Out. Out. Get off the couch. My dog's being disobedient. Orbit, move. Now. She's moving now, because I use my scary voice. Go, Orbit. Bloody dog. Okay. So every nine cards, we're going to get a fucking ultra, a super ultra, or maybe a secret. Alright. So, put these cases over here. Put that over there. So we got monster, monster, magic, magic, trap, magic, monster, Trap. Exo Sister Returnia. Side deck. Monster Magic. Monster Monster Magic. Monster Monster. Grand Tusk Dragon. Um, monster Monster. Side deck. Trap. Monster Trap. Magic. Monster. Sprite Jet. Sprite Jet. Uh, monster, monster, trap, side deck, magics, monsters, and Echo the Flame Buddy. Um, monster, magic, monster, trap, extra, trap, monster, trap, and another Therion Empress, Alasia. Therion Empress, Alasia, there, guys. Okay, stack these buggers up here. I think it's how we'll do it. We'll go and set to five and we'll separate them like that and go through them that way. More efficient, more efficient. Uh, oh, no. One, two, three, four, five. I want to keep those out. Put those ones over. There. Okay. Next five, next five. One, two, three, four. Or we can even just do this. One, two, three, four. To the front and put you down there. Let's get these packs open. Get them all fucking open. One, two, three, four. Put those on the front. This one down here. And then those ones on that pile. Next pack, next pack, next pack. One, two, three, four. To the front. Shiny over there. And common there. Next pack. Well, it's much quicker, isn't it, guys? 
one, two, three, four, to the front, and then that face down, these up here. I think what we'll do is we'll get as many of these out on the table as we can like this and keep these all face down. And what we'll do is go through the movie. One, two, three, four, to the front, face down, and you are on that pile there, but I've only got three viewers, hey, the three of you that are left. I'll hook you up if you garner some attention. Who is here? Who is here? Am I able to see who's here? No, I don't know if I am. Give us a shout out in the chat if you're still watching. Alright? I'll remember yours. One, two, three, four, to the front. Shiny there. Commons. Chris Peel. LeMay. True. Shock guys. Shock guys. Hey man, if you guys want to re-spread the attention and fucking just, you know, try garner some more viewers back, I'll definitely hook it up. Definitely hook it up at some point. Jason, do you come to the Hobby League? I've seen your name and face before, bro. Jason Flintoff. Hmm. Oh, those are my three dedicated viewers. LeMay, Chris, and Jason. You guys are solid. Fucking solid. I'll be sure if I can put you as a little shout out on the description on the YouTube video. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four. To the front. Shiny one face down. And one there. Okay. wonder how many of these are not going to be shiny ones when I flip them up. Find out, eh? Okay, one, two, three, four. If you guys could share the stream around. Oh, yeah. No, nah, I, I know Lee really well. I've known Lee for years. Like, comes over, dolls, fucking have ciggies and whatnot, you know. Those of you who know, you know what I'm actually talking about. Don't want to say certain things out loud on the internet. Get my ass in trouble. One, two, three, four. Being bad, it's not, you know... The thing I'm after doing. Put those there. I'm gonna have to sort out that stack soon. Ooh, on, I can't see the bottom of your comment, bro. We know. Who's we, bro? <laughs> Backflips for days. Haha. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Catch you up, man. Shop for coming and viewing what you could, bro. I appreciate it as. Be sure to shout you out, man. Straight up. Chris Peel, bro. You're the man, man. One, two, three, four. In there. Drop another one down. Comments. Next one. Next one. Half the country is not watching this, bro. There's only like five people watching. Huh? <laughs> One, two, three, four, there. Oh, I, 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 are you taking the piss out of Lee and how he talks a lot? Because <laughs> ain't no one denying Lee talks a lot. Hey, Lee. It's a competition between me and him. He's the biggest shit talker. Oh, we've done a pile of um, packets this way. Shit, a brick. 
Okay, um, one, two, three, four. Another one face down. Those ones up on there. Oh, okay, guys, we're getting down to the arse end of the stack. Down to the arse end of the stack. One, two, three, four. Put those at the front and you can hit the floor. Ha! Oh, man. One, two, three, four, to the front. This one's hopefully Starlight DPE Phoenix Enforcer and not some whore. Terrible rhyming skills, I know. Oh, we're back up to five viewers. Shout out to those of you who are here, man. Fucking cheers for showing up. Cheers for coming. Watching from the far north. Oosh. Fucking whereabouts, bro? Whangarei? Whakatane? Oh, no. Whakatane just over by me. What the hell? Um, holy shit. I don't know my geography right now. <sighs> Too much cards and values and words and stuff. It's my bad, G. My geography's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Ow, jump and chat, ow. Who, me? What? No, man, I'm, I'm chatting up on here, bro. Boo, yeah. Now, I definitely have to go through all of these cards here, just in case I accidentally did get the DPE and I didn't pull him right and he's in that stack, because, like, the stack here. That would be funny. That would be fucking hilarious. Unlikely, but hilarious, if it is the case. But we have, oh my god, such a large deck of cards, and we have only one, two, three, four, five, six packets left to open, guys. Six packs left to open. Alright, alright. One, two, three, four. You can hit the fucking floor. You go up on there, bro. Next. One, two, three, four, down there, close you up, put you there, next one. Almost at the end guys, almost at the bloody end guys, not far now. One, two, three, four, that one face down, that on top of the stack. God, we've got lots of Morphotronic cards, I'm going to have like, lots of play sets to sell, or give away, or well, I don't even know man, to... Three, four, close. You over there. You're up there. Three packs left, guys. Three packs left. If you guys want to torture me by forcing me to open up an entire crate, be my guest. No. <laughs> I don't listen to me. I'm trying to get Yu Gi Oh cards. I like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I like squirrels. Last pack, guys. Pray this one has might have the DPE in it. One, two, three, four. Hit the floor. You go there. We're gonna stack all these up and not look at any of them. Okay, I do not want to see any of these cards because we're going to leave them for the end they are the fun part they are the fun part and I'm going to save the fun part for almost last because the annoying hard part is going to be what comes last and that's sorting through all the fucking cards at the end it does not sound like fun to me um, okay so we're going to start with the stack here it's going to go between monsters, traps, side deck as you'll see me do already yep just yeah Psh, this won't take long um, Lots of traps in this bloody um in this box. Like lots of trap cards. So like if you're a trap player or you need some new traps to spice things up, this is probably a booster box to go for. 
because there is a lot, like a lot. Doesn't seem like I've missed any of the shinies, so I definitely pulled all the right ones out. I'm gonna go back and watch the footage later. I think I might have actually just kept screwing up by chance on the secrets, the first few secrets, because the first couple of secrets I pulled, they kept showing up in the middle of the pack. And yeah. Hmm. <laughs> If I did that more than twice in a row, I'm actually going to laugh because that big fluke, big fluke, the probability of that happening is pretty slim. Oh, just check the updated parts of this chat, yeah? Maverick is the main star. Hey, baby! My missus, everybody. Shayla Chan. <laughs> and my cat, Maverick. Hehehehe. <laughs> Um, okay. You're good, by Wei Chang, is this a case or a display box? It is four display boxes. Um, I'm about to, I'm just organizing a whole bunch of commons. So what I've done is I've pulled out like a whole bunch of the shinies, which is this stack here. I don't know what they are yet. I'm just sorting out through the commons first and we're going to do that best for last. If you want to hang around and watch, sweet. Um, put that up there, that up there, it's all organized. Fresh box because that last one is overly full. Um, these ones here. These ones are still sort of organized, aren't they? Yes, they are. Put those ones on top there. Next stack of cards. Alright. Monsters trap magic. Monsters magic. Monsters trap magic. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what am I up to? Last bit of a stack to organize, guys, and then we'll, we'll be going through the shinies. I'm so excited. Might be DPE. I doubt it, but might be DPE. Okay, two in there. Magic, monster, monster, magic. Monsters, trap, monster, trap. Magic, monster, magic, trap.
those of you that hang around all the way to the end, I will be going through all the cards, sorting out the TR elements from the fucking different ones and different ones, and going through the stacks and doing ratios of to what you pull the most. So, like, you know, if you guys want to hang around to see that shit, see if whether it's worth your time buying one of these boxes or not, that'll probably be the way to do it. Um, because four is a good estimation, like, it's a decent estimation on probability. So, that's that all sorted out, organized. Okay. Oh my god, I'm getting anxious, guys. I'm getting slightly anxious. Because, uh... This is the shot of the DPE or something else good for this pack. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are, here we are. So these are... The leftover shiny cards that I haven't checked yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip them one at a time. And just pray. We've got a stack about... I don't want to show anyone any cards, but we've got that many. That many. So... Pray for me, guys. God hands. Fucking God hands. Alright? Okay. Number one. Gem Knight Quartz. Number two. The Elements. Skyrim. Number three. Punk Jam Extreme Session. She, 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 session. You know, I'm thinking of having like continuous strokes or something where I can't pronounce my words. Fucking hell. Next one. Malfi Starting Contest. Oh my god. Steering Contest. Steering Contest. Why would you have a steering contest with a fucking. Uh... Oh, Exo Wister Martha. A secret rare, guys. Secret rare. I've got two of those. Um. Albaz the Ashen, second one of those. Ian Wave, I think it's the third or fourth one of those. Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond. I'm going to turn these upside down because it would be better to flip. Ready, steady, hoppa. Punk Jam Dragon Drive, hoppa. Scatter Fusion, hoppa. Therian Irregular, haven't pulled one of those yet. That's a gold writing. God, look at all these uh, supers. Mm -hmm. Scareclaw Straddle Rooker Kong Con Rooker Condom <laughs> Punk Jam Extreme Session again Ian Engage Neo Space <gasps> I got him guys I fucking pulled him It's not the DPE but it is Elemental Hero Shining Neos Wingman I need one of these for my dick It's going to be brilliant Now Elemental Hero, uh, so he's a Warrior Fusion effect card. You need Elemental Hero Neos and one Wingman Fusion Monster to summon him. Must be Fusion Summoned and he gains 300 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Also cannot be destroyed by card effects. If this card is Special Summoned, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of different attributes among the monsters on the field. You can only use this effect of Elemental Hero Shining Neo Swingman once per turn. If this card destroys a monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Fucking brutal, son. Nice. Yes. I'm happy. I'm happy. I got that. I just wanted one of those. Next. Another one of those ritual card scavenger. Uh, That's the third one of these. Garura Wings of Resonant Life. So you need two monsters with the same type and attribute but different names. That will be a really good super poly target like the bro I just said earlier on in the stream. When I first found it because it's a really good super poly target. And I, now that I've read it I see why. Next. Oh, Secret Rare. Grotty of the Deep Beyond. One Fish Tuna. It's a Starlight! Oh, guys, I pulled a fucking Starlight something. Starlight Gotti of the Deep Beyond. One Fish Tuna, one Non Tuna Monster. The original attack of this card becomes 500 times the number of banished monsters. If this card is Synchro Summoned during your opponent's turn, you can banish all cards on the field. During the standby phase of the next turn after this card was banished from the monster zone, you can special summon this banished card. So, yeah. First Starlight, guys, probably the only Starlight I'm going to get, but this is a Starlight Rare Grotty, or oh, Grotty of the Deep Beyond. Fucking suck. Bloody suck. Alright. Starlight. Meh. You're gold, you go over there. Power Tool, Braver Dragon. Oh, another Secret Rare, guys. Oh, wait. 
Okay, no, no, hang on, hang on. Someone explain to me the difference between a secret rare and a starlight rare, please. Like, can someone, can someone explain to me what's the difference between a secret and a starlight? From my understanding, a secret rare only has its picture with the glitter. Or is a secret rare the one with the thing and all the glitter? Anyway, who cares? We've got Kurikara Divincarnate. Cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned from your hand by tributing all face-up monsters on the field that activated their effects this turn in your opponent's monster zone. Gains 1500 attack for each monster tributed to special summon this card. During your end phase, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to your field. You can only use this effect of Kurikara Divine Carnate once per turn. Wow, nice card. I think it's a high value one too. Not sure, not sure, find out. Punk Jam Dragon the Drive, Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond, Scareclaw Straddle, Loris Lady of Lament, Vernu Sylph Corolla, oh, it's the Vernu Toyota Corolla, hmm. we got four left guys, pray for me, pray for me, everyone pray, fucking P for pray in the chat guys, P for pray. Starlight is the full card and secret is just the box image. Fuck, I got a whole bunch of starlights here then. Ha! Huh, cool. I'll go through them at the end. Forgot which ones are starlights and which ones aren't. Um, Shif, Fairy of the Goddy. Osa, the Earth Channeler. Eka, the Flame Buddy. And Lucky Last. Tialaments. Kit Kalos. Ha! Huh, haven't got one of her. Okay, that's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. I am not complaining at any of my pulls here, guys. I think I pulled some pretty cool, um, some pretty cool cards. So, Starlight, this one then, would be a Starlight because it's got, I don't know if you can see it on the shitty ass fuck camera. Um, what about this one? And what, what's Runoff, actually, because it might be Runoff. Nah, there's, there's glitter over the text, eh? Like, it's shiny behind the text. Can someone, yeah, can someone reaffirm what Mr. Wei Chang said, please, and whether that's a starlight or not? Because I need to figure that out, I guess. I'll put these ones where they belong. Those are all just supers. Cool. Alright, as promised, too. I'm going to pick up all these empty packets on the floor in front of me. Throw them all over on the pile on the couch next to me. And I'll turn the camera so you can also have a look because it's fucking <laughs> it's a mean pile guys like it's it's a, it's a mean pile <laughs> it's one of those things you, you you appreciate when you open up a whole bunch of cards is that it's the mess you get to make it's one of the appreciation factors okay alright wow Wow. Here we go. So I'm gonna take this camera, point it at my oh, upside down. Point it at my face because yup. Fuck that camera's bad, G. Wow. Bad camera. Bad. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh yeah, there's my pops on the wall back there by the way. Or oh, the missus pops. She loves her pops, like I love my cats. Ah. Anyway, three, two, one. Look at that monstrosity pile. Holy shit. Look. If only I was like fucking Harry Pothead and could just go bibbity bobbity boop and turn it all into cash. Go buy more cards. <laughs> Alright. Get you back into viewing position. Diddly. There we go. Oh no, no, you cannot see my cord. Uh, not my cord. Okay, we're going to sleeve all these up, and I'm going to go through the stack of all the shinies that I got, sort them all out, and I think, yeah, I think I got starlights, mate, like, I think I got starlights here, because there's glitter over the text boxes. The secret rare has a rainbow colored foil that's applied to the artwork, card name, attribute, and level. Each starlight rare has a horizontal lattice or grid-like holographic pattern applied over the majority of the card face, including the, oh, Brother, I've got starlights. I have starlights then. Okay, cool. That's fucking suck. Alright, so what's this one then? Is that also a starlight? Yes, it is. Oh, 
Damn, son. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Thank you, Shaz Lenol. That was a huge bloody help. I mean, even though it's, I know you just went and searched it up and copied and pasted, but still, thank you heaps. If you guys want, I'm gonna value up these cards afterwards too. Like, fucking hang around, come check out some values, get a get a grip of like you know how you make money off this and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it takes a decent initial investment. However, if you have a good investment to give and the time and the energy and all that, you know, then it's a good payout. I think I've invested now since it's been about three months. I've invested excluding today I've invested maybe eighteen hundred dollars into this and I think on my cards I have about three thousand to thirty five hundred dollars in card value so it's a decent growth it's like almost doubled it's pretty double I'd say at minimum I'm looking like twenty eight twenty nine for all my cards I can probably push it even lower yet if I wanted to get rid of them quick but you know, if we're doing straight value equation here, then I've pretty much doubled my money in the value of cards, which is bloody good. But again, you need the effort of actually redistributing them, which I've only done once in the past four months, and like, because I'm fucking terrible. <laughs> um, all right, so oh, I'll get these all cased up. What am I up to? Finish getting these cased up. I should have four cases left at the end of this. I bought two stacks of these Dark Magician Girl cases to put all the ultras in. And um, I should have four left, judging by my calculations. Because 24 by 4 is 80, 4 by 4 is 16, 80 plus 16 is 96. And if that's right, out of 100 cases, I should have four left. No DPE, guys. No bloody DPE. I'm a little bit sad, but I didn't actually expect to get one. That's just the hype for the box, obviously. Again, uh, the bro, um, Jacob Skeg, is doing a live stream tomorrow night. I'm not sure of the time. I think he will get the details onto the group that I made today. If you're not in the group, send us a message. Drop a message in the chat, and I will add you into the group. Um, Jacob is opening up an entire crate of the same boxes I opened tonight. Um, they, so in the crate you get not, you get 12, 12 of the boxes I opened. So yeah, he's going to be opening 12 boxes of what I opened. He has a much higher chance at getting that Starlight DPE. Um, I wish him all the fucking luck. Like, I really, really hope he does pull one. Uh, I know of one other dude that opened up a crate today actually, and I don't think he got one, I'm not sure, I'm going to go double check back on the chats later on, or if anyone's up in the Todonga chats and they've been keeping an eye on the other dude that opened up a crate, um, let us know if you know he pulled a starlight or not, I swear to god, if none of us get a starlight, like if, if old Jacob doesn't get a starlight, I'm going to rally us together, Wilson, Wilson, we're going to come talk to you, Wilson, nah, <laughs> Card merchant, we're gonna come lobby card merchant and ask for our ask for our better better card draws and card rolls or RNGs because um we didn't get the Starlight DPE. Oh man. I started go fund me. Fund fund my fund my Starlight DPE. Please. No. <laughs> That would be pretty crack up though, right? Like, fucking start a GoFundMe to buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Holy shit. Okay, let's see how much Konami miscounted by this time. Again, so you meant to get 50 in a pack. Should be 96 shiny cards, and they're all wrapped in, wrapped in cases now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So they gave us 50, 51 in each pack, or one pack at 52. The other one was right. Blah. But there's two extra cases. Which means Konami still don't know how to count straight. <sighs> no. <laughs> Alright, so here are the stacks of bloody shiny cards that I pulled out of this pull, this box break. Box breaks. Box break times four. Um, it's like fucking KO Ken times four. Let's check this chat out. 
Uh, sorry bro, I didn't explain clearly, but those cards you have are all secret rares. If you have glitter behind the text, those are called foil bleed. Foil bleed are actually uncommon bro, those are good pulls and special too. Late to the party, did I miss anything? I guess that answers things. Damn. Oh, well, nah, Jimmy, you haven't missed too much, eh? I'm still going to be going through, back through all the cards and reorganizing them and stuff. So if you want to see what I pulled, hang around for a bit longer and you'll get to have a nosy. If not, rewind back and go watch me open the packs. And there's also a section there where I fucking opened up a whole bunch of packs, stacked all the shinies upside down, and then went through them after organizing all the other cards. But, yeah, again, if you just hang around now, you're going to get to see what I pulled anyway. Because I'm about to go through all my shinies, organize them, and foil bleed, foil bleed. Foil bleed are actually uncommon, bro. Those are good pulls and special too. Okay, so, like, I'm, I'm assuming they're secret rares. Yeah, this is what, that's what I mentioned earlier. I've heard about foil bleeds. So I'm guessing those are secret rares that have been, like, sort of, like, overshined a little bit. Yes? No? Uh, is it possible to have, like, a, 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 like a fucking starlight that doesn't, um you know, shine a whole lot, so it looks like a foil bleed, maybe, again, I've only got them back into this this year, so I'm still learning a lot, I just like to talk shit with people, and I like to open cards, may as well let everyone watch me do it, I cut things with swords too, if you guys got milk bottles you want to donate, fucking send them my way, and I'll do videos of me being a dumb cunt with a sword, a real sharp one, with bottles, okay, so we're going to go through, organize them out in rarities, so we'll go the secret starlights, the gold writing and the plain writing, and then we'll go through the ones I have repeats of, of each stack, I don't think I have any repeat secrets, <laughs> and um, yeah, you all get to see what I got, so yeah, starting now, um, that there, oh that's a monster like you isn't it? fucking blue card that's in the main deck, what the fuck, some 90s heaven ass, early 2000s heaven ass rulings, bloody hell, oh, bruh, I am not thinking straight right now, am I, so those are all black writing, black writing, black writing, gold writing, plain writing, gold, secret, secret, gold, Oh yeah, anyone who wasn't watching earlier, I pulled a Sprite Blue, which is probably one of the better pulls I got that I'm aware of. I could have probably pulled something else that's cool, and I'm just not aware of how cool it is. But Sprite Blue, everyone. Sprite Blue. Um, Talimans Collider Hut, I got that too. Um, oh, I got a couple of Exosystem Marthas, is what I got. Yeah, I did. I got a couple of those. Uh, standard writing, standard, standard, standard. So these are all super rares. All of these are super rares. Ultra rares. Secret rares. I think that's right. Right? Right? Anyone? Tell me. Please. Tell me. No. Okay. <laughs> Gold writing. And glitters, glitters. These are the glittery buggers. Okay. Oh, man. We've got more oh, plain, plain, plain gold, 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 sparkly gold, gold, plain, 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 no, 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 net, 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 suka bleat, suka bleat, suka bleat, gold, gold. Gold, 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 uh, the sparkly ones, sparkly ones, and sparkly ones. Okay, okay. The lots of sugar, please. Alright, so, ultra rares there. The sparkly rares are there. So, this is the ratios here of secret rares, ultra rares, super rares. Okay, so again, just for you guys to see one more time. The first pile is your super rares, second pile is your ultra rares, the third pile is 
the secret is you can see that you only get you know, that, that and then the rest of these so we're going to go through and organize these now because I know there's fucking multiples of heaps of these in here so we'll just sort them out between the monsters, side decks, um, magics and traps magic, monster, trap, magic, monster, magic, magic monster, magic Side, side, magic, 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 magic. Ooh. Ritual. Side deck, fusion, magic. Magic. Uh, monsters, trap. Monsters, 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 magics. Monsters, magic, monster. Side deck. Spirit of Neos, guys. I only got the one. I can't believe I only got the one. That sucks. Rick a con con. Side deck. Okay, those are all those sorted out. So, put them into their nicely formed tidily put their stacks so they can be stacked nice and tidy and then we will go through and oh look at that the only two trap cards in super rare in this entire lot was exo sister returnia and because there's only two i'm assuming that's a pretty valuable card ah the bro Lee wants that. Hey Lee, if you're still around. Lee, Lee Mark, Lee. No, he's not, I don't think he's here. <laughs> All right, let's go through the magic cards first. So Malfi Steering Contest, I've not I've seen a few of them. Um, Extreme Session for Punk Jam, I know I've seen a few of them. And I know I've seen a few Scare Claw Straddles. See look, Steering Contest right there. Toyota Corolla's there, Straddles there. Extreme Session, Condom, Corolla, Scatter Fusion, Corolla, Ian Wave, Ian Wave, Scatter Fusion, Ian Engage, Neo Space. So I want this over here. Corolla, another Toyota Corolla, Scare Claw Straddle, Scatter Fusion, Straddle, Con Con, Stream Session, Engage Neo Space. I only got two of those, bugger, Ian Wave and Extreme Session. We've got a playset and an extra of Extreme Session, so that must be up. Mm. we got one playset of Ian Wave, two Engage Neo Space. Um, yeah, put the Extreme Session at the bottom there. It's Corolla, bro. I bet it's worth like six cents. I'll play set in one. So, Vernisliff Corolla. Um, Malfi Steering Contest. Only two of those. Con Con. Two of those. Scatter Fusion. One play set. Scare Claw times four. Yeah, who's all still watching? Drop your names down in the chats, man. Yeah, no, nah, no, imagine zero. Fuck. I'm going to end up buying a couple of Ghosts and Neos. If you know anyone, send them my way. <laughs> okay, so these are all sorted out. Let's go through them again. Scare Claw Straddle four. Engage Neo Space times two, Ian Wave times three, Punk Jam Extreme Session, got four of those, uh, Vernisliff Corolla, got four of those, Malfi Steering Contest, two of those, Rick of Con Con, got two of those, Scatter Fusion, three of those. Um, <laughs> Jason, LeMay, you good cunts, good cunts, Gemma, Chara, shot Gemma, all right. Next one, next one. Um, 
we'll do the monsters now, I guess. So we've got, put those magic cards over there. We've got Quartz, um, Vendred Scavenger, Shift Fairy of the Gotti, Grand Tusk Dragon, Spirit of Neos. I'm going to keep them separate because he's going in my deck later. Um, another Fairy of the Gotti, Lady of Lament, Albaz of Ashen, Albaz the Ashen, sorry, Mathmix Circular. Another Fairy of the Gotti, Fairy of the Mumble Rap, Gemini Quartz, Bright Jet, another Lady of Lament, Tanuki's Crit Account, that's a good card, Sprite Jet, another Crit Account, Grand Tusk Dragon, Third Jet, Echo the Flame Buddy, Therion Empress Elasia, Gemini Quartz, again, Echo the Flame Buddy again. Shift Fairy of the Gotti for the fourth, fifth time, fourth time. Echo the Flame Buddy, third time. Loris Lady of Lament, Playset. Vendred Scavenger, second. Albaz the Ashen, second. Tiara Lament, Skyren, Skyren. I haven't, so I've got two of those here. Um, put those in there. Uh, Therion Empress Elasia. Echo the Flame Buddy. And Mathmic. Circular. Okay, so we've got two Tialamon Shrains, one, two, three Loris Lady of Lament, three, four Echo the Flame Buddy, two Emperor Tanuki's Crit Accounts, um, two Grand Tusk Dragons, three Sprite Jets, two Mathmic Circulars. Two Albaz the Ashens, two Therion Empress Elasias, three Gem Knight Courts, um, two Vendred Scavengers, uh, one, two, three, and four Shift Fairy of the Gotti. All right. Now, as you guys saw for the traps, I only got two trap cards. Two trap cards. So. Put those over there. Now we'll do the extra deck cards. All right, we got. I got so many of these Jam Dragon drives. Braver Dragon, Jam Dragon, Braver Dragon, Jam Dragon, Rose Diamond, Jam Dragon, Rose Diamond, Rose Diamond, Jam Dragon, Rose Diamond. That's a bit of a rip off, Konami. How many boxes did you open in the end for only two traps? No, no, there's only two, um, two super rare traps. So out of four entire booster boxes, so four display boxes for boosters for Power of the Elements, I only got two super rare traps, and they are Exo Sister Returnia. So I'm assuming they're going to be rather pricey cards. <laughs> Normally, when you see only one or two of them, they're worth a bit. Or a couple dollars at least, so they add up to be a fair amount. Power Tool Braver Dragons. Um, holy shit, how many of these? One, two, three, four, five. See, now this thing will be like 14 cents, maybe 8 cents even. Because, I mean, look. My lord. <laughs> okay, that's all those sorted out. Next one is we're going to go through those secrets and just, you know, so you guys can have a nosy at them, have a look. Then I'm going to go through and organize those comments. Yes, I'm going to organize the comments. If you want to hang around, it's up to you. I am going to record it though. So, like, yeah. Um, the secrets, the secrets. So, there's Kurikara Divincarnate. If anyone knows anything about that card, let me know. Exo Sister Martha. Gotti of the Deep Beyond. Instant contact. Another Exosystem Arthur. Tialaments Kaleido Heart. Sprite Blue. Primeval Planet Perlirano. Another instant contact. And that makes up the secrets. I bought one of these today, so I've got to place it. Those are going to go over there with my Spirit and Neos. Those are heroes. Um, None of those are hero things, so we'll just go through those. Um, this one, I've read this before, but I'll read it again. Can it be 
uses fusion material if this card is special summoned or if an aqua monster is sent to your graveyard by card effect while this card is on the field you can target one card your opponent controls and shuffle it into the deck if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect you can special summon this card and if you do send one t elements card from your deck to the graveyard you can only use each effect of t elements kaleido heart once per turn oh <sighs> okay sprite blue i pulled that i know that's one of the good cards so you know you might be able to get some cash for that um, if you control a level rank 2 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon sprite blue once per turn this way. If this card is special summoned, you can add one sprite monster from your deck to your hand except sprite blue. You can only use this effect of sprite blue once per turn. Alright, uh, Primeval Planet Perlorino. This is for T Elements of Star Frost. When this card is activated, you can add one T Elements or one Visa Star Frost from your deck to your hand. Okay, so one T Elements monster or one Visa Star Frost from your deck to your hand. Fusion monsters and T Element monsters you control gain 500 attack. If a T Element monster you control or in your graveyard is shuffled into the deck or extra deck except during the damage step, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. You can only use this effect of Primeval Planet Perlorino once per turn. You can only activate one Primeval Planet Perlorino per turn. Yeah. If you guys caught any of that. Sorry, I, I zoned out what I was reading. <laughs> now, okay. Going back to the whole Starlight fucking secret rare debate. Now, these lines... So, is, when it's a Starlight, is it meant to be as bright as it is in the center picture around the rest of the card? Or is it meant to be slightly more dull? Or what? Because all of these cards all have sparkles across either the words or the borders outside of the picture where I know they're meant to be. Like, yeah. So, we'll use Kaleido Heart, for example. Oh, no. No, Kaleido Heart doesn't. Oh no, yes it does. Yeah, no, it does. It's got bloody, um... Oh, shitty lighting, but I mean, like, I don't know if this camera will catch it. Well, this camera will be better to catch it, but, like... Is that Starlight? Guys, can someone tell me? Hey, babe. Okay. Uh, a little bit, was it? Okay, no, all good. Um, okay, cool. So that's those three guys, uh, T Elements, Collider Heart, Sprite Blue, and Primeval Planet, Pearl Reino. So we got six secret, no, seven secret rares from four, no, seven, what am I on about? Nine secret rares from four boxes, so two from three of them and three from one of them. Didn't actually keep track of where they came from, but yeah, we got nine, which is pretty good. Um, Kurakara Divincarnate. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by tripping all face-up monsters on the field that activated their effects this turn in her opponent's monster zone. Gain 1500 attack for each monster attributed to special summon this card. During your end phase, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to your field. You can only use this effect of Kurikara Divincarnate once per turn. I think this is one of those um quite expensive cards actually. And we got no, yep, no, these all definitely have bloody, um, starlight across the text. Like, yeah, nah, all of these do. So I'll take them to an expert at some point, and I will ask them if they're starlight or thing. No, these all go to the borders. So one, two, three, four, five, all this dariness goes to the borders across the text and everything. Yeah, these ones do too. Making sure my eyes aren't playing tricks on me because I've done a fair amount of mushrooms in my life, eh? <laughs> I 
I made the missus laugh. Ha. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I will get those all checked out. Because, I mean, like, if they can make me a decent amount of money, I mean, shit. It's, no, not those ones. I'm not selling those ones. Hell no. I need those. Those are really good for my deck. And I know they're only worth 18 bucks a piece, so. Um, okay, we'll sort these ones out next day. Yeah. The gold riding ones. The gold riding ones. They're the super rears. Super rears. Um, Tiamat's Rhino Heart. Oh, so the Earth Channeler. Tiamat's Kitskalos. Garura ring, Wings of Resonant Life. Elemental Hero Shining Neos Wingman. The only one I got one of, another one for my deck. Theory on a regular. Sprite Elf. Vernusliff of the Flourishing Hills. Moray of Avarice. Favorite Contacts. Another Oso of the Earth Charmer. Another Garura. Gigantic Sprite. Only got one of those. And a third Garura, so a playset of Garuras. Second favorite contact. And a third Oso the Earth Charmer. So favorite contact is another one that's going aside for my Elemental Hero decks because they are Elemental Hero support. Um, Gee, what are you meowing for, Cuz? Shut up, bro. One of my cats. He's annoying as hell. Um, this is him. He doesn't like being picked up. I gotta give him rough pats or he claws me. I don't know why. If you be gentle with him, he'll scratch you. If you're rough with him, he'll sit there and take it. Weird kitty. Yeah. <coughs> okay. No, you're gonna you're gonna be all up in my cards, G. Don't do that, cuz. Uh. Okay. So yeah, three osas, three gururas, um, one Kitkalis, one Tialamans, Rhino Heart. There in a regular times one, Sprite Elf times one, Gigantic Sprite times one, Moray of Avarice times one, and Vernus Sylph of the Flourishing Hills times one. So I'm gonna also later on see what values I can collect up on these cards. And I'm gonna see, you never know. If I get enough, I'll go and buy more boxes. Do some more streams. Get more urns. <laughs> Um, so yeah, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in the starlights, and one, two, three, four, one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wow, that's impressive. Okay. Those ones aside, all those aside. Now the boring part, guys. For those of you that hang around through this, man, you guys are fucking awesome, and I'll fucking get you to chuck your name down at the end. I'll give you something for fucking hanging around for three hours and fifteen minutes. <sighs> this is where shit's gonna get crazy, guys, because I'm um, lots of fucking comments, lots of. Comments. Yo, Meow Meow. His name's Kit Kat, but we call him Meow Meow because he doesn't shut the fuck up. Gap it, bro. Gap it or you're going to have cardboard thrown at you. <sighs> ah, Alright. Side decks. Oh. That's right. I semi-organized all of these already, but I want to get them more sorted because they're not properly sorted just most of the way sorted but these are all the um commons again fucking <laughs> you can only guess how many commons there are eight commons per pack every pack do the math eight by 94 i cannot be fucked <laughs> um
near enough to a thousand. I think it is a thousand cards. No, 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 no. What am I doing? Traps go there. Monsters go there. So these must all be magics. Synchros there. Links there. Next deck. He strictly mons. Okay, that's all monsters there. Here's what I'll do. I'll move that across that way so we can see a bit better. Traps, magic, links, synchros. I have to find some XYZs on ship. I don't think I've got many XYZs at all, actually. Like, not many at all. What's up? You okay? all monsters all the way through. Holy heck, I think they are. Oh no, there's a couple of spells in there. Man, that monster stack is huge. Bloody huge. Yo, meow meow. Gap it, bro. Mmm, Starlight's a DPE, Kurokara, Ultimate Slayer, Exosystem, Mother. Yeah, I've got that. Also the Earth Channel, which will give you a better idea of what you've got. Ah, okay, usually they're easily identifiable because they're way more sparkly than Secret Rare in an obvious way. Alright, alright. So, the runoffs then. Let's talk runoffs now because I must have runoffs. Because they're not super sparkly, but it looks like the sparkle from the bloody picture in there has like slightly transferred over to the text and the edges of the card and shit. So, where would they value? Someone was saying they're a little bit more than the normal counterpart because they're slightly rarer so uh yeah can you like charge obviously i wouldn't charge between that and the starlight because you know starlights are quite expensive across the board <laughs> So we'll love this pit knight early, he's the only link monster that comes in this Go, get out of here, kick out. Not cool bro. It's knocking my cards off. Stink hunt. Oh, here's a whole bunch of Oh no look, we've got another scatter fusion. Lady Lady of Lament too. Whoops. See, like I'm going through these, eh? Because I just got a couple extra ultras. That's where my two extra cases came from. Sorry, Konami, you have learned to count. <laughs> I haven't learned the difference between a super rare and a common, obviously. Huh. Got a lot of this early guy. Heaps of him, bro. Lots of Malfies. And again, if you guys play, um, anyone plays, fucking, what is it? Albaz, Despia, that build. There's a whole lot of Albaz support in here. A whole bunch. New Murajade card. Um, yeah, fucking, all that. Find them for you after and give them a read and shit. What? Did you almost choke on your chop? Okay, and then that. That one here. That one there. Um, case those up afterwards. Top there, because just commons. Alright. Ratio, stacks, magic cards. Trap cards. So as usual, you still get more magic cards than you do trap cards, but not by a lot. Oh, fuck. Actually, it's pretty hard to tell. I think we're pretty even this time around. So I'll go through and sort those soon. But so far, we're looking pretty even on the whole amount of magic and traps you pull. And then 
as usual, twice the amount in monsters so far. Still got another box to sort through. So just bear with me, guys. Bear with me. What? I have a few um, sprite bases here actually, quite a few, I'm trying to be the first one to post up and, oh, that could be a good giveaway idea maybe, we'll go through and see how much sprites we actually got after, if I can make more than one deck base I might give one away, keep one, sell one, I don't know, ideas, ideas, lots of ideas. Wow, you know what? I'm surprised that not a single pendulum card. Ha! Huh. Not one. Not one. You know, the, the pendulums were the things that scared me off the last time. Made me quit the last time. I'm like, nah, fuck that. That's, that's out the gate, gee. I don't get how your monsters get destroyed and go to your extra deck and you can just special summon them back left, right, and center, blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, nah, man. Can't do pendulums, dude. Nah, <laughs> they're complicated. So I just stick to good old heroes, good old fusions, you know, got a link here and a fucking XYZ there and bing bang boom, Bob's your uncle, Sally's your cousin, we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh shit. A little spells. One more stack left guys, one more stack left. No one, no one has the time to read pendulums in ZU Giga about value for foil blades, especially when it comes to grading. I'm sure how that impacts things. All right, all right. Oh, just the fact I touch them should make them a PSA 11, don't I? <laughs> jokes, jokes. I'm actually not that up myself. <laughs> I wish I could be, but just can't. <laughs> no. Nope. I touched them probably drops their PSA like in the to the negatives G. <laughs> yeah, and straight up like Every card should be restricted to only be allowed to be one card at a time. The fact that a fucking pendulum gets to be like a spell and a fucking XYZ all up in the same shit. Like that's, that's just, bro, gap it up. Get out of here. Fucking make your own game. Fuck. <laughs> Not going to lie though, I would love to learn how to play DDDs. The D slash D slash D slash ones. Apparently they take a bit of a fucking... You know, a bit of brain on your shoulders to be able to use them. But I mean, like, if you could figure them out, 
it's pretty OP. And I just, I just heard pretty OP, and <laughs> I was like, oh, I might try that out. Don't know if I have the IQ capacity for it, but find out. Find out. I don't think I do. <laughs> Oakley, Oakley, we've got all the monsters sorted out, all the spells sorted out, all the traps sorted out. From here, guys, we are going to put them all into their sets. What do you know? <coughs> this is going to be fun, isn't it? <sighs> we'll start with the side deck monsters because there's just less of those and everything else. Good warm up, good warm up. Bloody good warm up. Oh yeah, just, just to remind everyone, giveaways. So the way the giveaways are going to work is like, yeah, I'm selling out. Like, share, subscribe, whatever the fuck all that crap is on here and on my YouTube channel. And I'll fucking put all your cunts names down onto paper or in a fucking virtual hat name jewelry thingy. And I will, on the next stream when I open up the next lots of boxes I will be handing out some fucking sealed cards uh, the promo cards from LDS3 from the last stream I did and I'm going to try and keep that cycle going so I'll every new box opening the next stream there'll be cards given away from the previous box opening I hope that makes sense to I sound like it doesn't to be honest my bad <laughs> okay, fuck my life. We're gonna sort out the um, the Linkmons first, G. We're gonna sort out the Linkmons. There's fucking heaps of Linkmons, bro. So we got Pit Night Early, Pit Night Early. Was calling Mr. PE, 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 Mr. PE. What the fuck is this cunt doing on my deck? Holy shit, bro. I don't think I've ever actually personally owned so many copies of one fucking card. <laughs> so what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I only need 3. So I'm going to keep 3. And then I've got 13 extras. I bet you they're worth like 4 cents a piece. So it's like 52 cents in Pit Night Earls. And then after this, I'll be valuing up the shinies, going on to Collector or whatever website seems to have a decent range of prices up for these cards, and we'll be taking some averages and working out what I've managed to earn or lose on this pull. Um, okay, there isn't too many um, different synchro monsters. I remember there being like three or four at most, so we'll move your blue cunts away. Or Thig Dog. You're all blue, bro, but you're dressed in red, you transformer. Uh, Mary Malfi's Morphotronic Airphone, Mary Malfi's, Mary Malfi's, Airphone, Malfi's. Bicorned Mumble Wrapper, Airphones, Airphones, Gotti. Malfi's, Airphones, Gotti. Malfi's, Gotti, Malfi's, Airphone, Airphone, Malfi's. Gotti, 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 Malfi, Malfi, Airphone, Airphone, Malfi, Airphone, Airphone, Malfi, Malfi, Airphone, Airphone, Gotti, 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 Malfi, Airphone, Airphone, Malfi, Gotti, Gotti, Airphone. G. <laughs> Alright. Once again, huge stacks of the same card over and over. I've never, never, never. <laughs> One, two, and three. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of the Morphotronic earphones. Again, I only need three. So, three that. Did I? I didn't even keep my three with these, did I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Alright, I got 16 of those too. 
Yeah, these are all four cent cards, you know, because like they come pretty uh, in similar numbers. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen of those ones, so I get three of those. Because obviously I'll want a play set of whatever I can get my fingers on. And then um everything else is either sold, given away, thrown in storage until someone wants it in like twenty-five years. Mary Malfies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, got 15 of those. So we got 16 of the first two I did, and 15 of the last two I did. Got play set of that. Alright, so that's all the common extra deck monsters, guys. Right there, still left over. Um, should, should really separate them all into play sets, so. Eh? Because I got so many, right? I'm gonna make a pile of all these ones that I got shitloads of. Right, mm -hmm. three, right? Because I don't need all these commons, by two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's two entire play sets. I will give this stack away once we're done. So I'm going to go through, and all the ones I've got like 12 to 15 of, I'll keep three, I'll put three into here, and then I'll put the rest over here. And then whatever the stack accumulates, we will give it away to one of the competition winners on the next stream. Fucking yeet. Oh yeah, again. If you got any milk bottles that you want to teach a lesson to because they haven't got milk in them anymore, send them my way. And, and and I'll I'll go all uh, samurai kenjutsu ninja on the, on on their milky on their milky exterior, and I will cut them in half for a video, and you can watch the video and be like, yeah, he killed that milk bottle. I owned that milk bottle. It ran out of milk on me. I didn't like that milk bottle. I'm sure of how that impacts things. Who has time to read pendulums? I felt that sigh in my soul. <laughs> ha! Okay, okay. So that's the leftovers over there. My pile to keep. The pile to give away, even though they're both exactly the same. Ah, <sighs> Malfi Penny. Malfi Wally. Actually, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through and find all of the Malfis and all these fucking piles. Malfi's and the Vernu, Vernu Sylphs. I think the Calrin is part of that thing too. We got, wait, we got Malfi's, we got Gotties, got some Moki Mokis, there's not many of them. We got Tialaments, this cunt is like in the middle there. Tialaments, Vernu Sylphs. Fucking Ice Jade G. I don't know what the hell that shit's about, but there is Ice Jade support in here, and this, they don't need more support, bro. Honest. <laughs> Underground Emperor, what? I don't know where that falls into, guys. Like, honestly, I have no idea. Vernusofs. Gotti. Sprites are the other ones. Oh my god, okay, I'll keep the mirror jacks. There's only one of those cards. There's a few different sprites, so we'll put those down there as a pile. I'm pretty sure this cunt goes with the Venus, Venus Elfs. If anyone can, like, help me with the frickin', um, sets that these cards work with, just toss it in the blimmin' chat and I'll have a read and get sorted through these much quicker. Um, Morphotronic Telephon, Crawler Somart, and psh, Morphotronics is another one. Um, Crosskeeper, fucking more Malfies, Sprites, where did I put the Sprites? Splites, yeah, whatever the hell they're called. Um, Gadget T Elements, Vernusofs, Gotti. Sprites, Vernusofs, 
Morphtronics. Gotti. T Elements. Vernisofts. Morphtronics. Hydrolanders Morphtronics. TR Elements. TR Elements. Vernisof. Mm, Moki. Ice Jade's in there, Gadget's in there, Sprites, Brilliant Rose, Venusself, Morphtronics, T Element, Morphtronic, Morphtronic, Venusself, Sprite, T Element, Vanguard, uh, no, 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 okay. Put that down there, because those still need to be separated into piles. These are the ones we're looking for currently, out of all of the common monsters. So we want Morphtronics. We want the... Vernusofs and that gem turtle thing. And then we want TR Elements. This is another set. And then we want Gotties, because it's another set. So one... Two, three, four, five. All right, those are up there. Those are the giveaways. Sucks. I'll turn these around like that. Give me a little bit more room. There's the Malfies. Hokily dokily, we have some organization happening here now. Cool. Um, Morphtronic. Tiara Elements. Venusself, Venusself. Gotti. Morphtronic. Moki Moki. Sprites, Sprites, TR Elements, Sprites, that's what the, those thing is, I think, probably wrong, but, uh, Melfi, Morphtronic, uh, Morphtronic, Venusoft, Sprite, Sprite, Venusoft. Morphtronic TR Elements uh, Melfi Morphtronic Melfi TR Elements Sprite Melfi Sprite Morphtronics Oh, 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 oh Shivers, oh no, we're getting some slides going on here, hang on. Need to sort this out some more, get them all back in order again. Morphtronics, Morphtronics, okay. Those are all the Morphtronics. Boom. Moki Moki, Adrift. Boom. Malfi, Wally. Boom. Vernu Self of the Flowering Fields. Oh, the Vernu Selfs. TR elements. Mm, Enoch Century of the Gotti. It's just the only Gotti common. Sprites. Mm, looking good for the Sprite stack. Looking real good for the Sprite stack. Um, Malfi. It's looking real good for the TR elements too, but those Venu cells, gee, they're just like, seem to be what you get the most of. I bet they shit. <laughs> Malfi, Malfi, this thing with the venue selfs, Gotti, T elements, Gotti, oh no, that thing with the venue selfs, what is it called, a fucking gem of the seafront, Morphtronic, venue selfs, Moki Moki, Malfi, 
got a Venus self and morph track. Venus self, morph track. Mokey Mokey, Malfi. Still a couple of archetypes in here that I haven't started pulling out yet, but I am collecting them all in a pile and we'll go through them eventually. Um, actually, I might run this, run the stream for like another 40 minutes and then I'm going to shut it down, guys, because I'm pretty sure my missus wants to use her laptop and I've been hog with her laptop for four whole hours stink guy eh? so um yeah I'll end this off at the four hour mark probably the four hour ten minute mark 420 mark okay we'll run it to the 39 more minutes 38 more minutes to the 420 mark at the 420 mark we cut it off alright and then I'll chuck an edited version up on YouTube within the next week or so and you guys can be able to watch that Got to edit the first one I did. I just stuck it straight on YouTube. Lazy as fuck. Ha. Huh. Um. Oh, more sprites. More sprites. 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 Yeah, lots of Morphtronics, lots of Verni Selfs, lots of Tialaments too, quite a few of them, not as many as the Vernus. lots of this one card. <laughs> Fuck you Konami RNG, okay? Fuck you. Alright. Uh, it's just my name bro, so like my full name from Facebook, I gotta change it, I do gotta change it. Um, nope, mocky mocky.
Bro, I'm gonna have an entire bouquet of those fucking crystal roses, Jesus Christ. Um... Ah. We'll go through for these sets at least. Got it. Brilliant rose, but I have like 30 of those. I'm not even joking. time quickly, make sure I haven't missed any. Jade's an aqua, so I'll probably slam all those down. See? Forgot one. Morphtronic. Morphtronic. One Morphtronic. Look at that. Oh, look, no, one Gotti too. Probably will stick all the ice mirror jade things down with the TR elements. I don't know. So that's all one card. <laughs> the Enoch Century of the God. Let's give it a readout, eh? If this card is normal special summons, you can target one of your banished level four or lower fish monsters special summon in defense position but negate its effects. You banish one fish monster from your hand or face up field, add one Gotti trap from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of Enoch Century of the Gotti once per turn. Okay. The TR Elements. Alright, so we got one, two, oh, there's only two kinds of TR elements, okay, that's weird.
There's only two of them in common, I should say. Hmm. Must be a good belt. Would assume. One would assume. So, Tiamat's Haveness. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, except during the damage step, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by placing fusion materials mentioned on it from your hand, field, and or graveyard, including this card from your graveyard, on the bottom of the deck in any order. You can use each effect of Tialament's Haveness once per turn. Oh. That's hero support right then. How many of him have I got? Hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wow, sixteen at home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen of Merrily. If this card is normal special summoned, you can send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, except during the damage step, you can special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by placing fusion materials mentioned on it from your hand, field, and or graveyard, including this card from your graveyard, on the bottom of the deck in any order. You can only use each effect of Tiamat's Merrily once per turn. Huh. That's pretty gnarly, so it's the same as Havenus, pretty much. So, how do we do this? One, two, three. One, two, three. And then, you go on top of the pile there. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you go on top of the pile there, too. Now, these ones are mine. And these ones are for the winners next round. Enoch. Get a case of periods to able to do with the patience to open more than two boxes, then the headache of sorting. What was the gadget cup? There's no gadgets, bro. No gadgets. Um Okay, so telephone scanning. I think that's the only two in there anyway. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, Scannon. Cannot be normal summon. The set was first special summon from your hand by banishing one Morphtronic monster from your hand. Take position. Once per turn during your main phase, you can add one Morphtronic spell or trap from your deck to your hand and place one card from your hand on top of the deck. Defense position. Once per turn during your main phase, you can add one level 4 or lower Morphtronic monster from your graveyard to your hand, then place one card from your hand on top of the deck. Cool. Telephone. Attack position. Once per turn during your main phase, you can roll a six sided die and gain life points equal to the result times 100, and then you can special summon one Morphtronic monster from your graveyard with a level equal to or lower than that result. Defense position. Once per turn during your main phase, roll a die, excavate that many cards from the top of your deck, or as many as you can, and if you do, you can send one excavated Morphtronic card to the graveyard. Also, place the rest on either the top or bottom of the deck in any order. Meh. Try it. Now we've got these bloody things. Um, the 
this one. Vernie Sofs. I don't know if this blue cunt is even with this lot, but we will find out in a minute, won't we? Ha, 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 Okay, so this thing, Carter and the Hidden Gem of the Seafront. You can discard this card. You can normal summon one earth or water monster from, oh, during your main phase. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Start again. You can discard this card. You can normal summon one earth or water monster during your main phase this turn. In addition to your normal summon or set, you can only gain this effect once per turn. If you control an earth and water monster while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of... Car Torhan, the hidden gem of the sea front, once per turn. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, put those over there. That on stack A. And that on stack B. Okay. We've got this one. Vern yourself with the flowering fields. Your opponent can. Your opponent cannot target Vernie Self monsters you control with card effects. You can discard this card, add one monster or Vernie Self card, add one earth monster from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, sorry, you can discard this card and one monster or Vernie Self card, add one earth monster from your graveyard to your hand except Vernie Self of the Flowering Fields. Then you can special summon one earth monster from your graveyard. Also, you cannot activate non earth monster effects for the rest of this turn. You can only use this effect of Vernie Self of the Flowering Fields once per turn. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, put the rest on the stack over there. Now we've got the bear one. You can discard this card, one monster, for yourself, draw one card, special summon one earth monster from your graveyard, or so you can activate non earth monsters effects for the rest of this turn. Target one for yourself monster you control, we can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. You can only use each effect of yourself of the thawing mountains once per turn. Pixies, carrot, carrot, red. Pixies, red, pixies, red, red, pixies, red, pixies, carrot, red, pixies, carrot, red, red, pixies, carrot, pixies, pixies, carrot, red, red, another carrot, another red, another carrot, another pixies, another red, pixies, red, carrot. Okay.
as they'll organize. I think these are all new Malfis, aren't they? Are these are all reprints. Penny, Wally, Penny, Wally, Penny, Wally. Go lay down away from mum, please. Go, baby, quick. Um, all right. One, two, three. Over there. One, two, three. Oops. Those are the leftovers. Place it for me. And play shit for any of you lucky buggers. Play shit. Play shit. Shit. Okay, that's my stick. And then your guy's stick. I've got the mocky mockies to look through. Alright. Look through these. Look through these. Look through these. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of those, mate. So, 1, 2, 3, on this pack. 1, 2, 3, on this pack. And then rest onto this stack over here. Ah, uh, that's right. They're all in there. Alright. There's all the extra cards from them. Alright, getting somewhere. Propagandic. Propagandic. <laughs> Kim Jong Un's personal card. Um, and I'm pretty sure that with what we got left, I can sort them out. Scar of the Vendred. Shari Red. Creation. Rose. That. And then you over there. You over there. Cross Keeper's the other one. Oh, and this. Bussy bugger. Duncan. Oh, and there's gadgets. And then Rook of Princess. Last trade creation. Last trade. Ponda. Crawler. Did I put a crawler down? No, I don't. Shit. Take these down. Take these down. Crawler. Cross keep. Rose. Vanguard. Gadgets. Orbits. Crawler. Wrecker. Shit, I'll go through all the crawlers first. Crawler, 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 crawler. Boom. Crawler, 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 crawler. Boom.
propaganda, like, gun can. Holy fucking ice jade. Ice jade. What's ice jade? Scar of the Vendred. Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. This is where it starts to turn into a bit of work, guys. Like, all the sorting and the separating and all that shit it does become a little bit of work, but it's still sort of fun. I find it fun. Crosskeeper. Those very self bear things. Holy oh, shit, I got heaps of fucking messages, goddammit. Have you got your coffee for the home stretch? I think I sculled it. Oh no, I got some left. monsters <laughs> Didn't get a case what was it gadget cash off alive finishing line is up. yeah finish line is in sight it's not far now not far now and one of you lucky buggers gonna get a million stack of fucking cards to play with 
which is cool. All the scars that have injured. Bonda, Shari, Emperor, Bonded, Rekka, Ice Jade, Emperor, Scar, Orbit, Propagandic, Underground Emperor, Gadget Gamers, uh, Brilliant Rose, Dark Bonder, Crawler, Orbit, Keeper, Bonder, Rose, um, Gadget Gamer, Another Rose, Bonder, Vandred, Propaganda Hake, Cross Keep, Wrecker, Vanguard, Crawler, Orbit, Shari, Dandek, Vanguard, Gadget, Scar, Rose, Bonder, Gadget, Keeper, Soma, Red, Rose, Red, Dandek, Wrecker, Rose, Orbit, Bonder, Vandred, Red, and Ice Jade. Holy heck, bro. Let's get these all tidied. Oh my goodness. Holy honey hickey bruv. Uncle honey. Hmm. So that stack gets pretty much three of everything. So I'm sending through a play set of <laughs> yeah, Lame. I think I need to go and have a Siggy real quick. I'll be like a minute. Because I'm like the fastest Siggy roller and smoker on the planet. I should go for a Guinness World Record, bro. Literally, how quickly I can smoke a Siggy. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, appreciate these piles for a second, guys. And all the hard work that just went into them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be back in a minute. <sighs> I'm 
Mac. Ish. That's the one, but I'll make. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 somers. <coughs> what does he do? You target one face up monster you control. Special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, change the target to monster to face down defense position. And you cannot change its battle position for the rest of the turn. During your main phase, you can reduce this card's level by 2 or 4, and if you do, special summon crawler monsters with different names from your hand, deck, or graveyard, whose total levels equal the amount reduced oh, in face up and or face down defense position. You can use each effect of crawler summon once per turn. <coughs> Morphing jar hack. <coughs> <coughs> and I play Morphing jar. <laughs> Three for that pile, um, three for me, and the rest of these can go in the box. <coughs> All right, Scar of the Vendred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Huh. So three for this pile. Wait for this pile. <coughs> <coughs> and the rest goes in the box. Let's see what the Vendred card does. Um, this card is sent to the graveyard. You can add one Vendred spell or trap from your deck to your hand. If a monster on the field is tributed while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one other zombie monster from your graveyard and special summon this card. And if you do, while it isn't face up in the monster zone, you cannot special summon monsters except Vendred monsters. Can only use each effect of Scar of the Vendred once per turn. <coughs> not bad, not bad. <coughs> Next one's Propaganda. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen once again. So one, two, three, five whole play sets. So one to me, one to a winner, and then the rest of the box. To the box with you. Put him in the gully. We put him in the Gulig and we move on to the next card. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. A bouquet of brilliant roses. Look at all those numbers. <laughs> my cat everybody oh. okay so two stacks of brilliant roses one over here oh these are gem knight supports let's have a read let's have a read mm. oh, 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 oh. <coughs> okay Brilliant Rose. This card is always treated as a Gem Knight card. You can discard one Gem Knight or Melodious card. Special summon this card from your hand. You can only use this effect of Brilliant Rose once per turn. Once per turn, you can send one Gem Knight or Melodious monster from your extra deck to the graveyard until the end phase. This card's name type attribute become the same as the original name type attribute of the monster sent to the graveyard to activate this effect. Got 11 of those left. <laughs> There are three more play sets and then two spares, Jesus. Um, Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 of those as well, guys. So, yeah, 1, 2, 3 over there. 1, 2, 3 over there. Uh, let's give them a quick read. If a monster is sent from your hand to the graveyard while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card to place it on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect the Vanguard of the Underground Emperor once per turn. Yeah, that's that one sorted. Winner's stack. Keeper's stack. And now, next card. This Ice Jade shit. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So far the current, the current contest winner with 18 cards, fucking Ice Jade Creation, most common card in the box so far. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 6 entire play sets. <laughs> That's a lot bro. What does it do? When this card is equipped to a monster, the equipped monster gains 400 attack and defense for each banished monster. You can only use one of the following effects of Ice J Creation, a Zero Cassis, once per turn and only once that turn. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, except during the damage step, quick effect, you can target one Ice J monster you control. Equip this card to that monster you control. While this card is equipped to a monster, you can special summon this card. Fucking deadly, G. Deadly. Next one. Next one, next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cost Keeper. See what he does. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Special summon one elemental hero monster or one neo spatian monster from your hand or graveyard, but negate its effects if summoned from the graveyard. If you special summon an elemental hero fusion monster while well, this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can banish this card, draw two cards, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. You can only use each effect of Crosskeeper once per turn. That's pretty gnarly. That's pretty gnarly, bro. That goes with my hero stacks, doesn't it? Put that over there. Put that over there. We'll do Gadget Gamer next. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 Gadget Gamers. That one's on tie with the fucking Ice Jade. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What does it do? When this card is normal summoned, you can add one level 1 machine monster from your deck to your hand. You can tribute this card, special summon one Morphtronic monster from your hand, then you can special summon one Gadget Hauler from your hand or deck. You can only use each effect of Gadget Gamer once per turn. Well, there you go, it's a Morphtronic support. So there's three lots of Morphtronic cards that you get in there. Okay. I didn't read them before I sorted them. Probably should have done that. Oh well. All good, all good. Uh, next one is Doom Broker, I think. Doom Bonder, sorry. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Another record, another record holder, eh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And what does he do? You can tribute one monster, special summon from your deck, one monster with the same original type of tribute level and attack and defense as a tributed monster but with a different original name. If you tributed a monster, special summon from the extra deck, you can special summon a monster from your extra deck instead that meets those same criteria. You can only use this effect of Nightmare the Dark Bonder once per turn. It's a weird one. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, there's 12 more in there. Three more pay sets. Um, Rook of Princess. That one's for Keep Pile and the Giveaway Pile. Rook of Princess. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one's probably worth a little bit more because it's less. Um, during the main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand, but while it is face up in the monster zone, you cannot special summon monsters except plant monsters. When your opponent activates a monster effect while you control a Ricker monster, quick effect, you can shuffle this card from your hand or graveyard into the deck and tribute one plant monster. Negate that effect. Vicious! It's a, it's a hand trap. Vicious! You right, baby? Two more monsters, guys. Two more monsters. Um, Hydrolander Orbits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Five play sets. Um, what does it do? If you have four or more monsters in your graveyard, no monsters in your graveyard with the same name, you can tribute this card. 
excavate the top cards of your deck equal to the number of monsters in your graveyard or as many as possible and if you do, if two or more monsters were excavated and all excavated monsters had different names, add one of those monsters to your hand. Also, place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one monster in your graveyard, place it on the bottom of the deck. You can only use each effect of Hyd Hydrolander Orbit once per turn. That's bloody good. Recycler. Uh, Duncan ship 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Look, we need 11 of those. Mm -hmm. Place it. Place it. Um, effect. This card's name becomes Duncan ship Shari while in the hand deck graveyard or on the field. You can only use the following effect of Duncan ship Shari red once per turn. You can reveal one other Duncan ship. Duncan Suship Shari in your hand, special summon this card from your hand, and then you can apply this effect. Special summon one Duncan monster from your deck, except Duncan Suship Shari, but negate its effects if any. Then special summon from your extra deck one XYZ monster that mentions that special summon monster's name, using that monster and this card as material. <coughs> this is treated as an XYZ summon. Those Duncans are getting some pretty Mickey power ups, bro. Uh, evil XYZ deck. Absolutely evil. Who's that? Oh, look at Alright, guys. This is the stack of monsters that is going to be given away to somebody during the next stream. Just want you all to have a look. You all saw what you got. You all saw what's in here. You all saw what's going to be given away. All of these going to go to one person. So what I'm going to do is give one person a play set of everything if possible. The really valuable cards, I'm sorry, I'm going to be a shit and I'm not going to give any of those away. But I'll probably give some of the super rares away, some more of the holographics away. Let you guys have some of the shiny cards. But I will be giving a play set of 99% of the commons away. And that's like a pretty decent score of cards for just, you know, clicking some... Ah! Sorry guys, I'll keep the bent one. <laughs> for just clicking some buttons. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to cut the stream here. Um, if you guys want to tune on to my Facebook group, um, I'll have some more details up regarding the competition, regarding what other cards are going to be given away. Um, I'll have some photos sent up. <coughs> be organizing some sales posts <coughs> through my page too so if you know anyone that wants to maybe buy some cards I can cut deals for anyone because obviously like this is you know all good so yeah I can do them cheap um, obviously I don't do sealed products again if you want sealed products go to card merchant um, but yeah anything open from the last few boxes I have singles of too Again, be doing some more sales, put those up. Um, head over to my YouTube channel, it is under my full name, Al Tahi Lejeune. Um, let's go on there, give us a like, or fucking subscribe if you don't mind. Share my few shitty videos that I have, um, help me get some fucking traction, and doing that will get you in the draw to win these. Um, probably throw some other extras in there too. But again, thank you all so much. For coming today and watching me do my cards and sort them out to the extent that I did. Um, fucking shout out to all the all you cunts from Rotorua that know me in person. Um, I appreciate you all coming. Shout out to the Rotorua Hobby League. Address all you guys. Fucking you guys are legends. Um, Stanley, you are the man for doing my cameras. You're fucking. You're my camera guy. You're hired, bro. You're my camera guy. Um, he did a little setup with the picture at the back too. Fucking cool cunt, good cunt. Um, fucking yeah, nah. Again, thank yous all, and um, just keep an eye on the group, keep an eye on the YouTube page. Fucking PM me, message me if you want to talk some shit. I don't know, whatever. Fucking yeah, all of yous have a good night.
Thank you so much. See you on the next one.